Let's get it. 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 Mike Sports Vibes. Thank you for vibing with your boy. Philadelphia versus the Clippers. I'm going to keep it 1,000. I, I want to win this game more than a lot of other games. I'm going to tell you the reason why. Because of James Harden, man. I ain't trying to lose James Harden. I know it's in LA. I know it's in Los Angeles and all that. But I'm going to keep it real. Like I just don't want to lose to the guy, man. You already know the vibes with it, man. You know what I mean? All this talk he was talking and, you know what I mean? We can't lose to the dang on Clippers. Well, we can. I hope we don't, though. You feel me? But shout out to everybody that's vibing with your boy. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. Consider subscribing to your boy. I do play-by-play -play for most Philadelphia 76er games. Philly, everything besides football. Phillies, I cover on this channel. Sixers, as you can see, I cover on this channel. And... You know, when it comes to football, no disrespect to the Eagle fans or the Steeler fans. It's all about the Vikings. You already know the vibes with that. But shout out to AJ Analysis in the building. I want to join the live. Leave the stream link. Yeah, I got you. I'm going to leave the stream link real shortly. It's definitely going down, bro. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you, man. It's definitely going down, bro. Let me sound check, sound check. Down, bro. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right, I sound all right. All right, all right, all right. All right, man. So this is a crucial game for us, man. Like, I think we could win this game. I think we could win this game. My biggest thing is rebounding and rebounding and rebounding and rebounding. I'm not going to bring up Tobias Harris. I just brought him up, right? <laughs> I just hope he plays, man. Just play. Just play the dang on game. But let's put the dang on scoreboard up. It's about to start any second now. But, man, like, it's, this is interesting, man. What, where we're at as Philadelphia 76er fans. Like, I was just thinking to my homie, like, we had two first-round picks. We drafted Markel Fultz and Ben Simmons. We could have drafted Jason Taylor. Yo, there's just so many things that happen. And it's just like, dang, bro. Like, where did we go wrong, bro? Like, like where did we go wrong? <laughs> it's amazing, man. It's amazing what happens, man, when you just – it's the luck of the draw. Luck of the draw. But we're going to see what happens, y'all. We're going to see what it do. I think we got a chance, man. I do. We just got to take one game at a time, get to the playoffs, and anything can happen. You know what I mean? Hold on. What's... All right. Let's see, man. Clippers, Clippers, Clippers. And then there's rumors about us getting Paul George. I don't know, man. I don't know if I want – see, I like Paul George. But when I really think about Paul George, I think of it like this, y'all. Shout out to my boy Aiden Malik. Clippers hate to say it. They got the better team whether or not they win. Or, or Yeah, yeah. They got the way better team. Without Joel Embiid, <laughs> bro, they, everybody's pretty much better than us, to keep it real. When we, when we got a $40 million player that could get you two points in one game and he's not consistent, I mean, but – you know, going back to Paul George, if I was going to pay a player a max contract with injury history, it will be the guy just I'm looking at right now, Leonard. Leonard would be the guy I would take a chance with because I know for a fact Leonard, he's a three-time, was he a three-time champion? He's an MVP. I think he's a two-time MVP in the finals. And you know what he brings in the playoffs. He's clutch, Mr. Clutch. So if you get, if, I mean, I don't mind if he's just the whole thing on season and then in the playoffs he plays. As long as he plays and he plays like he knows how to play, bro, I'm cool with Leonard. Like, but Paul George, I'm not saying he can't be a champion, but he's been battling injuries. And I don't know if I want to give him, uh, give him the max, man. I want to build this roster out. I want to build a complete team around Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey. We don't need to go star hunting. We need to build a freaking team. I'll be cool if we get Malcolm Brogdon, Alice Cruz, just players, bro. They don't got to be stars. They don't got to be superstars. Just get me some solid players. Shout out to Daniel, Paul George, and Kit Kelly uh, are going to be hard to guard. Kelly Oubre. Yeah, I like Kelly Oubre Jr. too. I, I was saying this for a minute. I said he's the third best player on this team. I've been saying that for a minute, bro. And it's because of the letdown of you know who. You know what I mean? I'm trying not to even say his name anymore, bro. Like I'm keeping it real. I'm trying to say I'm trying not to say his name no more, man, because I'm just over it. Like I'm tired of complaining about him. It's the Sixers' fault for giving him that contract. It is what it is. I'm not going to turn down. I'm not mad at Tobias Harris for taking a hundred eighty million dollar deal. 
who would turn that down? If the Sixers are crazy enough to give him that deal, then that's on the Sixers, man. That ain't his fault. But what is his fault is that he can't, he's not consistent. At least give me 20 points a game, bro. Especially Joel Embiid is out. That means you got more times to, to shoot the ball up and to do something. You feel me? But my whole thing is this. Dog, when the when people will be like, yo, you Sixer, you Philly fans are so like delusional. You guys are so hard on your team. Bruh, like Tobias Harris, he'll score 30 points once in a blue moon. He might even get you a couple of games with 20 points in a row. And then out of nowhere, I'm not making this up, y'all. Y'all know, if you watch every game like I do, I'm not making this up. He'll mess around, get you two points in 30 minutes. I'm, I'm, I'm not making it up. You, you can't do that. You can't do that. And then I was saying on one of my lives, I said, yo, Kelly Oubre Jr., literally, bro, Kelly Oubre Jr. is playing like Tobias. Like Tobias Harris should be playing like Kelly Oubre Jr., more consistent, the aggression, the swag. And Kelly Oubre Jr., I didn't look up his salary or how much he's getting paid, but I know he ain't getting paid $40 million this year. I know that for a fact. So for him to shout out to Scott in the building, I appreciate you vibing. Um, Kirk Cousins is better than Sam Darnold. So y'all just got worse. Yeah, we got worse, but I'm happy. I'm not, I'm not happy that we got worse, but I'm happy we're moving on, man, because – he getting paid $180 million, bro, and $100 million guaranteed. Think about that. He about to get paid $100 if, if the contract goes full, the full contract goes through. $180 million, but $100 million guaranteed. Yo, Kirk is the biggest. Like, he, I, I, I ain't mad at him. I am not mad at Kirk Cousins for getting the type of paper that he is getting. I am not mad at. Him for getting his paper, man. Get your money. You know, the the um football is a physical sport. He he just tore, tore his what his Achilles, and then after that, tearing his Achilles, the man gets a hundred eighty million dollar deal. Now, whoever his agent is, I need him to hire me. Be like, yo, my boy Mike Sports Vibes, man. He be covering the Sixers, the Phillies, and the Vikings. He's a hybrid sports fan from PA. Man, I I shoot. You need to go hire him, man. You know what I mean? Hire me. But, you know. But, yeah, shout out to – I mean, I hope the best for him, man. It is what it is. I am just I just know for a fact that we finally are in the situation where we're going to have to go get our guy. And I hope we do not settle. I hope we go get our guy and not play play in the draft. 2024 NFL draft is going to be lit. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be lit. Hopefully the squad is – hopefully the whole squad is going to be going live. But if the squad ain't going live – on draft day, I will be live. Best believe I will be live. I'm hoping the whole squad is, though. You feel me? But, you know, sometimes we got families and, you know, things come up. But we're going to see what happens. But shout out to all the Sixer fans in the building that's that's vibing. Everybody that's in the building is vibing right now. Not going to lie when I see someone say Vikes should get May. Bro, I know people be hating on May. I don't understand it. They say that he doesn't have uh, pocket awareness and, you know what I mean, I understand all that. But I look at it like this. The coaches and the GMs has way more film and they know a lot more. And I look at it like this. If you would, if you was to put – I mean, you can't really do this because he chose North Carolina or whatever. But if you was to put Drake May on the Michigan Wolverines, bruh, bruh, I'm just saying. That's all I'm going to say, bro, with a with – a, Great with a, with the best defense in college and with that offensive line and that running game. I'm just saying. I just think I just think Drake May is an underrated quarterback prospect in this upcoming draft. That's just my honest opinion. Some people ain't going. Some people ain't going vibe with what I'm saying. But I'm just keep it real. I'm gonna keep it. I'm, I'm just talking my talk. That's just my personal opinion. You feel me? That's just my personal opinion. But uh, we're going to see what happens, man. This is going to be a, a lit game. I'm hopefully the Sixers can beat the dang on Clippers, man. I can't stand the Clippers, bro. Just because of James Harden. I ain't care nothing about the Clippers until James Harden went on them. Because I said they have no chance because Leonard's always hurt. Paul George is always hurt. But, man, Leonard's been playing really well lately since he's been healthy. And they look kind of scary. I ain't even going to lie. The Clippers look scary with a healthy Leonard. Paul George seems like he's healthy again. 
And James Harden is James Harden. We're going to see if he can ball out when it counts the most. But that is a scary team in the West if they stay healthy. That's the key. If they stay healthy, they are a hard knock out in the Western Conference. You know what I'm saying? Just my opinion. I think the top dog, I know record-wise is the Thunder. But I think the top dog, of course, is the Nuggets. Until they lose, I don't see nobody beating them. But I, I, I still think that the um, what should we call it? Um, the Timberwolves, if they can get healthy in time, I think the Timberwolves will be a tough out as well with Towns and Ant. You know what I mean? I think the Timberwolves is gonna be a tough out. Um, who else? I just think the Thunder might be too young, but who knows? They might shock the world and win the West and possibly get to the NBA Finals. Who knows? But I know the Western Conference is very stacked right now. You know what I mean? It's very stacked. And I don't think LeBron going to get a cha another champion out of the West. He got to go to the East. And even the East is starting to be a little bit tougher. It's a little bit more top-heavy than the West. But even the East is hard to get out of. So if he's trying to get that fifth championship, he might have to go to the Eastern Conference. You feel me? Shout out to Chris for real in the, build in the building. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. The Kings are the team that I – yeah, the Kings is another tough out. I just think they don't got – I just don't think they got enough. I, I just I just don't see them getting out. I, I just – I think the West is just so freaking tough. But who knows? Anything can happen, bro. All right, so we got Mobama, Buddy Hill, Tyrese Maxey, Tobias Harris, and Kelly Oubre Jr. starting for the Sixers. Leonard, Paul Jers, Zubak, Terrence Mann, and James Harden starting for the Clippers. I'm going to keep it 1,000 with you, bro. This this right here is going to be a tough one for the Sixers. I know. I know I was talking trash on James Harden, but I know James Harden is going – he's going definitely – I don't know. This might be bad for us. But we're going to see what happens. We're going to take one possession at a time. But my whole thing right now is rebounding. Rebounding. The game is about to start. We're going to see what's up, man. Let's see if we can get this dub. Shout out to everybody that's vibing with your boy. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Hit that like button. Consider subscribing to your bull. Play by play for most of the Sixer games this season is definitely going down. How's the mic sound, by the way? I just want to make sure everything sounds all right. Let me put the uh, scoreboard up real quick. I know the game just started. All right, let's get it. All right. Mo Bamba with the ball gives it to Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey gives it to Kelly Oubre Jr. Kelly Oubre Jr. gives it to Tobias Harris. Shoots it up. And he gets it in. And, oh, no, he doesn't get it. He misses it. All right, let's go. James Harden. Oh, we got the ball stolen by Kelly Oubre Jr. Let's get it. 0-0, zero, zero, y'all. Let's get it. James Harden gets a screen. What you going to do with James Harden? James Harden putting the layup. Oh, nope. He passes it out to Man. Man does a spin move. And he goes up on Mobamba. And he gets the block. Good job by Mobamba. Mobamba. Tobias here for a corner three. And he makes it look easy. Yo, put the threes in the freaking chat. Put the threes in the chat. Shout out to everybody that's vibing with your boy, man. Hit that like button. Shout out to Ron's opinion. Don't matter. Shout out to everybody that's in the building right now. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Y'all already know the vibes. Let's get it. James Harden fakes the three, gives it to man. Then he gives it right back to James Harden. He shoots a three. He misses it. Rebound by Tobias Harris, the reigning MVP. <laughs> Tobias, let's go, baby. He shoots the midi, and he makes it, baby. Let's go, Tobias. Five to zero, 10 minutes and 41 seconds left in the first. The game just started, but Tobias is cooking. He is cooking early. Leonard with the ball. Let's go. He's a Zubat. He gives it to James Harden. Kelly Oubre Jr. is guarding him. He gives it to Leonard. Leonard shoots the three. Misses it. Oh, and they get the offensive rebound. And then Leonard shoots another three, and he misses it again. Luckily, we got to get these dang going rebounds. I kept saying it earlier in the chat. I'm going to say it again. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Mobama shoots it up. Misses it. Get his own rebound. Nope. Buddy Hill gets the rebound. Shoots a midi. Misses it. Then, oh, we get the offensive rebound. Kelly Uber Jr. gets it to Tobias. Tobias shoots a midi wide open, and he makes it look easy. Tobias Harris has all the points for the Philadelphia 76ers. It is 7-0. to zero. Nine minutes and 51 seconds left in the first, and the Sixers are winning, baby. Let's go. Paul George with the ball guard, being guarded by Buddy Hill. Does a spin move. Puts it up. Doesn't get fouled. Get the rebound, Mobamba. Let's go, Sixers. Look at that great defense. It's 9.38 left in the first, and the Sixers are balling. Tobias Harris almost lost the ball with his handle. He gives it to Mobamba. Oh, my gosh. Butterfingers. Butterfingers. Come on, man. Catch the ball. Come 
on. But shout out to everybody that's vibing with your boy, man. <laughs> Put the threes in the chat. Shout out to everybody, man. Let's go. James Harden with the ball. He's driving to the lane. Lay up off the backboard too easy. And freaking one. We need to do better with that. We need to do better with that for real. But um, it's definitely going down. Just starting the game off. We, we balling pretty well. I'll say that. We're balling pretty well. We got to make sure we continue to get our freaking rebounds. Please. We have to get a rebounds. We got to get a rebounds in this game. In order for us to really take it to the next level and win this game, we got to make sure we get all the rebounds. All right, seven to two. He makes both his free. Oh, man, seven to three. My bad. Um, nine minutes and twenty seconds left. Let's go. Mabamba with the ball, running point. He gives it to Tobias. <laughs> Tobias hits with the ball. What's he going to do? It. He got James Harden on him. He gives it to Buddy Hill. Gets a screen by Tobias. He's trying to cross up James Harden. Let's go, Buddy Hill. Bounce past the Mobama. Mobama swings into Tyrese Massey. Tyrese Massey driving with a floater off the backboard. He makes it, baby. Let's freaking go. Nine to three, eight minutes and 56 seconds left in the first quarter. The Sixers are playing good right now. Let's go. Defense. This is where I want to see it. See it at. Defense inside the ball. Let's go. James Harden with the ball. He's getting double team. Oh, no, he's not. Do back on Mobamba. He's trying to post him up. Hook shot off the backboard. Too easy. Whew. Nine to five, eight minutes and 38 seconds left in the first quarter. Can the Philadelphia 76ers beat the Clippers? Let's go. In LA. Let's go. He gives it to Kelly Oubre Jr. He has James Harden on him. He does a step back three and he makes it in James Harden's face. Put the threes in the chat. 12 to five, six or lead. Eight to 17, eight, 17 left. James Harden does a nice pass to Paul George. He's being guarded by Tobias Harris. Going between his legs, trying to cross up Tobias Harris, who shoots a midi, and he makes it look easy in Tobias Harris's face. Oh, man. He still got it, but I don't, I'm a little bit nervous about that, Max. I ain't going to lie. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. Gives it to, oh, no, doesn't give it to him. Gives it to Kelly Uber Jr. for another corner three. And he makes it, baby! Put the threes in the freaking chip. I said freaking, not the other word. <laughs> 15 to 7, 7 minutes and 42 seconds left in the first quarter. James Harden gets, thought he got fouled. Did he get fouled? Is that a shooting foul? Oh, it's on the floor foul. Not a shooting foul, James Harden. You're not getting away with that, bruh. You're not getting away with that, bruh. 7 minutes and 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Shout out to everybody that's in the building if you're rocking with your boy. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the like button. I promise you it's free. I promise you it's free. Consider subscribing to your boy. I do play-by-play -play for most of the Sixer games this season. Philly everything besides football. Football, I'm a Viking fan, hybrid sports fan. Thank you for vibing with your boy. Let's go. James Harden puts it up, and he gets fouled in one. I don't know what that was, a floater, jump shot. It was ugly, but he got it in. It's 15-9 with a chance to make it 10-15. to 15. Sixers got the lead, seven minutes and 33 seconds left in the first quarter. Man, 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 man. I'm going to keep it real. I, I hope Joel Embiid comes back in time just to get some of that rust off. Because I, I, I hope, this is what my dream case scenario is. I want to go against the Bucks the first round. I want I want to knock Doc Rivers out the playoffs first round. I just want to do it, y'all. More than I want to knock out the Celtics. I want the Celtics last. I want the Celtics last. But I want the Bucks first. You know what I mean? Pat, Pat, Pat Beverly was talking trash. Oh, another corner three by Kelly Oubre Jr. And he hits the dang on top of the dang on backboard. Let's go. We got the ball. Buddy Hill with the ball. What you want to do with it? He passes it to Tobias. Tobias gets a screen by Mobama, doesn't really use it, but he's driving to the hole with a little floater, midi, missed it, went in and out, rebound by Leonard. Stop his momentum, stop his momentum, Buddy Hill, stop his momentum, stop his momentum. He's driving the steal. Oh, almost a steal by Tyrese Maxey. They give it up. Oh. Come on, man. Let's go. Oh, come on, come on. Guard him. Come on. James Harden with the ball. What you going to do with it, bro? What you going to do with it, James Harden? He's trying to cross up Tobias Harris, going between his legs. What you want to do with James Harden? You ain't doing nothing, bro. Step back, Mitty. Step back, Mitty. Oh, he makes it. Oh, ah, I jinxed it. I jinxed it, bro. I was talking trash. I was talking trash, saying he wasn't going to do nothing. And he busts a Mitty right in my freaking face. Come on, Sixers. Let's go, baby. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. He gives it to Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill, what you going to do with it, bro? He shoots a long three from outer space, and he misses it. Rebound by Zubat. Oh, I'm not liking that. I don't, I don't like that shot. Leonard gives a nice bounce pass to Paul George. He has Buddy Hill on, on him. Double team happens. Passes to James. James passes to Leonard. 
Leonard fakes the three, driving to the lane, a little midi hook shot, and then Zubac with the putback gets the, his own offensive rebound because he missed it. Then he gives it to James Harden. James Harden shoots a three and misses it. Finally, a defensive rebound by Mobamba, and he gives it to Tyrese Maxey. It's 15 to 12, y'all. 15 to 12, six. Let's go. A corner three by Buddy Hill, baby. Buddy Hill, Buddy Hill, Buddy Hill. Put the threes in the chat. Full time out by the Clippers. Let's freaking go, bro. Man, stop playing. Stop playing. James Harden, you ain't about nothing, James Harden. All that talk. All that talk you was talking, man. I know it was it was a little bit personal. It was the money thing. I still I still actually like James Harden a little bit. Not not really like I want him on my team, but I respect his grind. I respect that. You know what I mean? Even though it didn't end the best with Daryl, I respect that he got us. I, I like James Harden because he got us some first round picks and he got us some solid plays. Even I do think that we should have kept Morris. I think Morris was a nice piece. If we had Morris, I think we'll be in a better situation than we are. I'm not saying he's a star, but he was a solid role player that played well when he was with the Sixers. I forgot exactly how we lost Morris. Like, what was it? Was it like a, like, what? why did we, was it in a, tra was it in a trade? Like, I, I don't remember how we lost Morris, but I thought Morris played excellent with the Sixers when he was on the Sixers. And then we got the, what, we got two first round picks. We got two second round picks, a first round pick swap, Nicholas Batoon, Morris, KJ Martin. I'm, I'm going off the top of my head, y'all. Help, help me out in the chat. Who else we got? We got KJ Martin, Morris, Nicholas Batoon. Who else we get? We got somebody else. Why do I feel? Oh, hold on. Nicholas Batoon, Morris. Hold on. I'm, KJ Martin. I'm mad. I can't think of. I can't think of who we got. Mike is the streaming link. No, nah, I didn't put it in yet. I'm going to put it in in a few minutes. Just getting warmed up real quick. Getting warmed up. And I'm going to put that link right in the chat. I'm going to uh, have some people come on if you guys want to jump on the live with me. Just getting warmed up. But shout out to everybody that's vibing with your boy. It is a wonderful day. And I'm still working on this stream yard, trying to figure some things out. And you know what I noticed? Like, I was looking at, like, it's kind of, uh, y'all could see the score, but it's kind of distorted. I don't know how to fix it to make it more clear and crisp. But StreamYard, I was looking at other people going live, and it looks like it's kind of like the same. So maybe it's something with StreamYard, or maybe I'm just doing something wrong. But I realize that it's a little bit distorted. But as long as y'all can see the score, I see the score, but you might not be able to see like the detail play by play underneath. But um, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, we winning, man. It's a good game so far. And I'm about to put the link in there. I'm gonna wait until at least hmm. After the first quarter, at least I'm gonna put the link in there. And then whoever wants to join. I know there's a, a thing where you don't have to show your face if you if you don't want to show your face or whatever. You can do that. But uh, shout out to everybody that's vibing with your boy, man. This is a wonderful day for us to get a dub. We need this dub in the worst way. You know what I mean? 18 to 12. We're playing good. Paul George. See, now they're showing Paul George. They said the last nine games, 25.8 points, 55.6 from a field goal percentage, three-point percentage, 47.9. Wow. Wow. He's shooting like four threes a game, assists four. Steals 1.8. He's playing really good, but I don't know about a max. I don't know about a max. Let's go. James Harden gives it to Paul George for three. Misses it. Rebound by the Sixers. Finally. Oh, my goodness gracious. If we would have let that rebound go. Let's go. Tobias Harris with the ball. He gives it to Mabamba for a three. And he makes it. Put the threes in the freaking chat. You know the beef that Harden Uber had, right? No, I didn't even know. It probably something dealing with somebody taking somebody's girl. I'm pretty sure that that's what happened. <laughs> 21 to 12, five minutes and 10 seconds left in the first quarter. Leonard with the ball. What's he going to do with it? Shout out to my boy Ingram in the building. Let's go. Let's go. What you going to do? Oh, Terrence Mann went up. Got Couldn't get it in. Let's go. Good defense by the Sixers. But he'll bounce pass to Tell Kelly Uber Jr. with a nice reverse layup off the glass. 23 to 12. The Sixers are playing with some energy that I have not seen. I know Joel B is about to come back, but my goodness, this is the stuff I like to see right here. Terrence Mann with a wide open corner three, and he makes it look easy. 23 to 15, four minutes and 36 seconds left in the first quarter. The Philadelphia 76ers are battling the Clippers in LA and they are winning. Let's keep it going though, man. 
Let's keep it going. Tobias Harris with the ball being guarded by Terrence Mann. He's about to get a screen by Mobama. He uses the screen. He's driving. He's dribbling. He's dribbling. He puts it up a little midi, 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 and he makes it look easy. Oh, nothing but net, bro. What's up with Tobias Harris this game, bro? What's up with Tobias Harris this game, bro? Paul George gets a screen by Zubat. Oh, Paul George driving, reverse layup, too easy. Where? Yo. I got to see who was guarding him, man, because they list. I know he got the screen, but where's the help defense on that particular play, bro? Like, nah, bro. Nah, we can't have that. Let's get it. Tobias Harris with the ball going between his legs. What you going to do with it, bro? He gives it to Mobama. Mobama gives it to Tobias Harris for a corner three. Missed it. But there is a what happened? Is it an offensive foul? What What happened? Hold on. What the heck just happened last play, bro? Yo, we got Mobamba hitting threes, bro. Yo, shout out to Mobamba. I know people don't like Mobamba. He's doing his best, man. He's doing better than uh, some other players. That, uh, you know what I mean? I ain't going to say their name. But, you know, he's doing pretty good for what he what, for what he is, man. You know what I mean? Paul George. Not, uh, not Paul George. Paul Reed. I might need to get used to saying Paul George on the Sixers. After all the rumors that are going around, floating around in the atmosphere, you know what I mean? But Paul Reed is in the game for Mo Bamba. Let's go. Leonard with the ball. Let's go. What you going to do with it, bro? He gives it to Zubat. He get, yeah. Oh, a good defense. Oh, there's a foul. I be thinking these referees, like, slow with the foul calls, bro. Like, they wait until, like, the player misses the shot or something. And they say, oh, it's a foul. Man, call that thing right when it happens. Stop waiting until after the shot doesn't go in the hoop. Cameron Payne foul. But shout out to everybody that's in the building. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button. Consider subscribing to your bull. Play by play for most of the Sixers games this season is definitely going down. Philly, everything besides football. Football, I'm a Viking fan. On this channel, we cover in Sixers, obviously. We cover in the Phillies shortly. The 28th is the first game for the Phillies. And we cover the Minnesota Vikings. So I do pre-recorded videos for each and all these teams. And I'm doing lives for each and all these teams. I'm trying to do the Vikings, but you know, it's... Oh, Cameron Payne driving to the lane. Oh, and then he misses it. But Paul, Paul Reed with the with the slam dunk. Let's go. Put back. Let's go. 27 to 18, three minutes and 16 seconds left in the first quarter. Leonard with the ball going between his legs, being guarded by Tyrese Maxey. He gives it to Terrence Mann. Terrence Mann shoots a three. It was wide open. Y'all got to get on him, man. He can shoot the three, bro. Y'all just looking like, yo, should I put my hand in his face or not? No, put your hand up, bro. Put your hand up, bro. Let's go. Cameron Payne driving to the lane. Oh, he stops his dribble. He gives it to Tyrese Max. He gives it right to, back to Terrence Mann. Terrence Mann step back three. Makes it look easy. Oh, my. Put the threes in the chat, y'all. Put the threes in the chat, bro. We doing it big right now. 30 to 21. 30 to 21. Terrence Mann bounce pass to Leonard. Leonard with the ball. What you going to do with it, bro? What you going to do with it, Leonard? Let's go. He's trying to cross up Tobias Harris. Oh, ooh, trying to cross him up. Passes it up to Terrence Mann. Terrence Mann gives it up. Ooh, what you want to do, Terrence Mann? Terrence Mann gives it right back to Leonard. Leonard, ooh, the double team comes. Zubak, reverse layup off the backboard. Ooh, that was, a little, that was a little nasty. That was good defense overall to the end. Let's go. Cameron Payne with the ball. Gets a screen by Paul Reed. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Cameron Payne. Layup off the backboard and makes it look easy. Shout out to my bull, Cameron Payne. I like Cameron Payne. I hope he gets more minutes, honestly. I miss D'Anthony Melton, bro. Leonard with the ball. Oh, the double team is coming between Tobias and Cameron Payne. Oh, and a steal by Paul Reed. He's going to dunk the ball. No, he's not. He passes it to Tobias, and he puts it up. He gets it in, PP. Let's go, Sixers. Let's go, Sixers. 34 to 23. One minute and 44 seconds left in the first quarter. Oh, my goodness. Leonard with the ball gets the screen. He's getting double teamed. They get it out of his hands. They give it up. They give it up. What you going to do with the Norman Powell? Then gives it to back to, oh, man, Leonard got the ball back, drives to the hole, puts it up off the backboard. Whew, that was nasty. Yo, Leonard is just a special player. Leonard is just a special player, man. I just, it sucks that he's always injured, but special player. But I love the double teams that's coming really quick by the Sixers early on to get the ball out of Leonard's hand. That's the strategy. He's the best player in I don't want to say in the game. He's one of the best players in the uh, whole NBA. And when healthy, he's top probably three. When healthy, you know what I mean? And he he just creates so much for the Clippers, man. He does so much on both sides of the court. 
You know what I mean? He might have lost a little bit on the defensive side of the ball, but I still think he does his thing. He does. He's consistent enough to be like, yeah, he, you could still put him on the other play, on the other team's best offensive player, and he could slow him down and make him work on the other side because he's really good at scoring. But yo, like, that's a good strike. Yo, I love how Nick Nurse coaches, bro. Like, that's one thing to upgrade from Nick Nurse to you know from uh, Doc Rivers. Like, Doc Rivers is just. He don't make no adjustments. Let me catch up in the chat because I haven't really been talking in the chat. But shout out to everybody that's vibing. Um, Tobias going in a former team. Uh, revenge game for Tobias Harris uh, against. Yeah, heck yeah, bro. Mike is. Um, nope, I'm about to put that joint in there. You know to be. Yep. I don't even know, bro. That's exact. Yo, because yo, bro, Ingram. That's exactly what I be thinking, bro. Like it's always like a female, bro. Like these dudes be like, <laughs> all the women y'all could be getting y'all fighting over someone that. Like, come on, bro. Um, that's exactly what it was. Yeah, put a cheese in it. Yeah, put a cheese in the chat. Put a three in the chat. Let's go. Let's go. Hit the like button. Shout out to Chris Frill. Hit the like button. It is free. I promise you. Let's go. The sixes in the chat. All right. All right. Let me um I'm gonna send that link. If anybody wants to um come on. Um you know what I mean? Just let me know. You feel me? Just, just let me know. You feel me? Like, <laughs> it's definitely going down. You feel me? That's all I got to say about that. That's all I got to say about that, bruh. Uh, I'm trying to see something real quick. Um... Uh, invite. Hold on. All right, so I'm about to put the link in the chat. If y'all want to come on, let me know. Because even though I'm putting the link in the chat, don't mean I'm going to be letting people come on, depending on who you is. You got to let me know, like, <laughs> who's joining. I put the link in the chat for those who that want to jump in and talk that talk real quick. All right, so Leonard is at the free throw line. 34, 34 to 25. Sixers are beating the Clippers. And Leonard is at the free throw line. Shout out to the people in the building. Appreciate y'all. All right. So he makes his free throws, 34 to 26. Let's get it. Come on, we got to keep it up. It's not over. Let's go. Kelly Wood Jr. driving to the lane. Ooh, on everybody off the backboard of the layup. Let's go back to a 10 point game, y'all. One minute and 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Sixers are up. Let's go. America, America gives it up. Oh, three. They just hit a three. Gosh, Lee. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Norman Powell hit the three. Let's get it. Come on, man. Cameron Payne with the ball. Let's get it. Gives it to Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey gives it to Kelly Oubre Jr. Kelly Oubre Jr. gets a screen by Paul Reed, but he doesn't use it. He about to shoot the three. He about to shoot the three. No, he's driving to the lane. Bounce pass to KJ Martin with the layup and one. Wow. Yo, good pass by Kelly Oubre Jr. on that pass, bro. Good pass, bro, to set up KJ Martin, I meant. He set him up perfectly. He drove to the lane. Got everybody to pretty much jump in the air and gave it right to him. Perfect pass, perfect finish. That's what's up. Yeah, man. All right, y'all. Let's get it, man. Amir with the ball. Gives it up to Leonard. Leonard gets a screen by Daniel. Then he gives it back to Norman Powell. Norman Powell drives to the lane. Good defense by Paul Reed. Let's go. Leonard with the ball driving on KJ Martin. Double team comes. He kicks it out. Oh, good steal by Cameron. Oh, almost had to steal, but it's a foul. Oh, no, it's not a foul. It's a turnover. All right, let's go. Great defense by the six. Yo, this defense is the best defense I've seen in a very long time. Straight up. For the Sixers, this is the best defense I have seen in a very long time. Like, they're playing very aggressive. Like, very aggressive. Brandon Boston had no chance. 
Ty- Tyron Lou. Remember when uh, Allen Iverson stepped over Tyron Lou in the 2001 finals? Does anybody remember that? Does anybody remember that? <laughs> Let's go. Now he's a head coach. And he's a pretty darn good coach at that. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball going between his legs. Step back three from outer space, and he makes it look easy. Yo, put the threes in the chat, bro. Put the threes in the chat. Leonard shoots the three, and he misses everything in. The Philadelphia 76ers are beating the Los Angeles Clippers 41 to 29 at halftime. Wow. Who would have seen this coming? I didn't see this coming. I need to stop underestimating the squad, but I, I just be just like, man. And like the way Tobias Harris started off this game was something special, man. He had the first seven points on the, uh, of the Sixers, man. He was doing his thing, hitting threes, hitting the middies. I mean, matter of fact, let me look up Tobias Harris's points right now. Because Tobias Harris is balling. For real. All right, so Tobias Harris has 11 first quarter points. One assist and one rebound. The leading scorer for the Sixers. And then Kelly Oubre Jr. has 10 points, three assists, and one rebound. Buddy Hill has three. Tyrese Maxey has two and four assists. Yeah. Let me uh see what's up with the Clippers. The Clippers, James Harden has eight. Um, Man has six. Leonard has three. And Zubek has five. But yeah, we doing it big right now, man. We doing it big. We gonna we gonna get this dub. We gonna take quarter by quarter. We gotta get this dub though, man. This is a this is a must win. I say every game is a must win. We had we are, we had a crucial time in, for the Sixers right now, man. We gotta win these games. We the eighth seed in the Eastern Conference. We trying to stay above the dang on Bulls. But I really want to get a six fifth seed or something like that. I think we could catch them. I think we could catch the Magic or the Pacers. We got to get it some wins in a row, though. Um, so we got all right. So the Heat is thirty eight and thirty two, but they got the tiebreaker, I guess, and uh, they're ahead of us. They got the seventh seed. The Pacers are forty and thirty one. The Magic are forty two and twenty nine. So we're not that far, bro. Like to keep it real with you, we're not that far. The only team we would definitely not catch would be like the top. Three teams, I don't think, but especially the Celtics. The Celtics are 57 and 14. I did not know. Dag. The Celtics is balling right now, bro. But I'm still not, I'm still not scared. I'm still not scared of the Celtics, man. Because uh I feel like we got it. I feel like we can beat them. All right, let's see. Let's see. Second quarter, y'all. Second quarter. What we going to do, man? What's, what, what's y'all final score prediction? Y'all think we got this dub? You think we want to get this dub? All right, let's go. James Harden with the ball. He gives it to, um, what's his name? Uh, Daniel. Oh, a nice pass. Nice finish. We got we to gotta do better, man. Norman Powell think he's something. Norman Powell think he's something right now. I don't know why the Clippers started going away from the – Yeah. Oh man, turnover by the Sixers. Come on, man. Kevin Payne left the um. You gotta pay. You gotta. Don't worry about the foul call, man. Just just play ball, man. Ten point game. He was cooking. Yeah, man. James Harden from my man. Oh no, nah, I mean, don't say my man James Harden. No, nah. he was doing his thing, but he wasn't cooking like that. You feel me? He wasn't cooking like that, bro. He wasn't cooking like that, bro. Nah, I mean. I ain't going to give James Harden that much credit. I ain't giving him that much credit. I like James Harden for the most part, but I ain't giving him that much credit. Let's go. Paul George with the ball. Gives it to James Harden. Let's go. Let's go. He's driving to the lane on Tyrese Maxey. Ooh. Passes it to Paul George. Paul George. Ooh. Good defense. Oh, but there's a foul, bro. Gosh, Lee, bro. KJ Martin's like, where was the foul at? Yeah, Nick, Nick, and Nick Nurse is like... <laughs> You can't touch the player. Let's go. James Harden inbounding the ball. He gives it to Amur. Oh, 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 good defense by the Sixers, but it's out. We couldn't get the rebound off of the missed shot by Amur, and it went out of bounds. So it's going to be Clippers ball with nine on the shot clock. 
The Sixers are winning 41 to 31, 11 minutes and 13 seconds left in the second quarter. Sixers are balling. Leading scorer is Tobias Harris with 11 points. And then, they, oh, come on, bro. Get out of here, bro. James Harden with another bucket, man. I don't like that, bro. I don't like that. Yo, shout out to y'all. Shout out to you, bro. Oh, wow. Oh, Kelly Oubre Jr. Gives it to Paul Reed off the backboard. Good fine. Good fine. Good fine by Kelly Oubre Jr., bro. Let's go. Paul Paul George with the ball. What you going to do with it, bro? Gets a screen by James Harden. He barely uses. The double team comes. And then a turnover by Paul George. Cameron Payne with, the, with KJ Martin. Oh, bounce pass from Tyrese Maxey for the slam dunk. Let's freaking go, bro. I love this defense intensity from the Sixers. This, this, the intensity, bro, is crazy. Oh, let me get my boy AJ in the game. AJ, what's going on, AJ? Oh man, how you been, man? I'm doing good. I can, I can barely, I can barely hear you. I'm not sure. I could barely hear you. One second. Yes, 48-33, nine minutes and 57 seconds left in the second can quarter. You, can you hear me? I can hear you. I can barely hear you, though. Like, I can hear you, though, but I can hear I can hear you, but it's not like. Oh, I think it's because the stream, your stream was going on in the background. I'm not sure. Oh, I hear something in the background. Oh, wait, can you hear uh, me your, now? On your end. Can you hear me now? I hear you. I hear you better. I hear you better. What's yeah. up, A? What's going on, brother? Hey. Man, how you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? Oh, man. Excellent, man. I'm just hoping that, you know what I mean, the Sixers can get on a roll and get a couple of wins in a row, man. Like, we need it in the worst way. We this need is like, it, This man. is the best offense I I've seen uh, by the Sixers. And, like, actually, I think this is the best game they've had right so far. Yeah, like, yeah, offensively and defensively. Defensively, they're they're always good. I feel like I I think, read a stat that they're like first in steals. Actually. Yeah, but this, but yeah, yeah. La yo, the last few games, yeah, but this game, like, I don't know, man. Like they getting up, they getting the ball out of Leonard's hand. As soon as he get the ball, he the ball is just they double teaming them. Like the strategy is just, I love it, man. I love Nick Nurse, man. I love yeah, Nick cause, Nurse. Because if, if Doc Rivers was there, uh, was here, there would be no perimeter defense. That's true. That's true. Definitely true. Oh like, man! All right, bounce would pass. Not be ball. ready or anything. They wouldn't be. Um, they wouldn't be playing any perimeter defense. They would be leaving guys wide open. That's what would happen with the Sixers if they had Doc Rivers. Facts, facts. Yeah, they don't. I don't know Doc Rivers. I just feel like he just he just got the reputation of being such a great coach, but he didn't know how to make adjustments when when needed to. You know what I mean? He just kind of was stubborn, like. Stuck in his old ways, like no matter what, I'm gonna stick to this, even though it's not working. And I think that was the downfall against the Celtics last season in the playoffs. It's gonna be the downfall no this season too. Yup, and that's why I said I hope we go against the Bucks in the first round. But it don't even matter. I don't got no picks, but I want to knock Doc Rivers out the first round. Just, just something, just personal with me. I don't, I don't like. I mean, I like Doc Rivers. It's all fun and games, to be honest with you. But I just want to knock him out the playoffs. <laughs> Because he and was also, talking trash on, you, uh, on the Sixers. Can you six believe games. that Kelly Oubre is, is a, on a veteran minimum? Yes. And you know what? And I got to give you a big shout out because I remember you saying on a live, oh, before we got Kelly Oubre Jr., you were like, yo, we need to go get Kelly Oubre Jr. Or it was a comment you post you uh, you uh, made on one of the uh, videos I made. And I was just like, yo, that's a good pickup. But I didn't know he would be like this. But... He's a solid, good role player. He's doing, honestly, he's doing better than Tobias Harris been like all season, like all season long. Kelly Uber Jr. has been more consistent. Yeah, so I was basically looking at the remaining free agents that were left in free agency, and all that was left is like Kelly Uber and uh, um, PJ Washington. So yeah, I was right. trying to get one of the two players right there from the Hornets. Clippers I feel just like hit the a three. Help us a lot, like with uh, Jaden McDaniels, and uh, we have Kelly Oubre now. Brian Dawkins is in the chat. <laughs> What's up, Brian Dawkins? How you doing? Brian D's in the chat. How you doing? How you doing? Um, but yeah, man, like 
Like, I'm excited for the rest of the season. I mean, I'm optimistic. I'm one of the more optimistic Sixers fans. People think I'm delusional because I feel like, I mean, I just want us to win so bad. And, like, I have so much faith in Joel, in Joel Embiid. Hopefully he comes back healthy. If he does come back healthy, I know it's going to take some time for, like, rhythm. You know what I mean? But we'll see what happens, man. I, I just feel like the, we, ha- we, can, we can beat the Celtics or the Bucks, but we, we just have to have a healthy Joel Embiid. What's your opinion on that? Any but, chance? But before before we like get like get to the playoffs, you have to do the playing first, right? Yeah, that's Plains if we even make easy. the playoffs. Right, 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 right. We yeah, gotta make the. It's damn still not playoffs. easy to play in. Like, anything can happen in the playing tournament. Like ten seeds can make the playoffs. Something. Anything. Yeah. It's only one game. Right. Yeah. So it's like that. That's the thing. Like, yeah. Good buck. Yo, we are balling. Fifty-two to thirty-eight. Seven minutes and thirty seconds left in the second quarter. Man, let's go, man. And believe that we're winning by 14. Yeah, we got to keep it up, though. Paul George with the three. Missed it. To, far to the left. Tobias Harris driving to the lane. Off the backboard. Makes it. What the heck is going on with Tobias Harris? Full timeout by the L.A. Clippers, Nick, man. Nick what? Nurse probably, like, told him to be more aggressive. He but let me to. tell you what's going to happen. He's going to play good for uh, two games. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to have, like, 30 points this game, 20 <sighs> points the next game, and then after that, he's going to have eight points. Steady decline. I, I could, Hey, I could see that, bro. I could see that. It, that's the unfortunate truth, you know what I mean? Like that's I was trying to say earlier, like, a lot of fans, like, they'll comment on my video because I was coming at Tobias when I was out on the trail. They was like, you Philly fans are so hard on your players. I'm like, bro, I watch every single game. You're talking to someone that watches every Sixer game, bro. I know that he sometimes has games where he'll hit you He'll hit you with a 30-piece nugget, right? And then the next game, he might even get you a 28-piece nugget. And then the game after that, the next three, four games, he'll hit you with a 10-point or he'll hit you with a two-point game. Like, that's how he is. He needs to be more consistent. I'll be cool with him giving me between, like, 19 and 23 points a game. You know what I mean? Something around there consistent. But he's so, like, like there's no Kelly way. Give great production. Yes, give us Kelly that perfect example. Give us Kelly Oubre production, and I'll be cool. But for someone, and I know I ain't trying to count nobody's pockets. You feel me? But you get you get your money. They gave you the contract. It is what it is. But my goodness, it's like you're being paid more than almost every player on this team, and you're the most you're not consistent whatsoever. And that's the one thing that bothered me. But I mean, it's the Sixers' fault, man. And I was just talking to my homie like today about like. Everything the Sixers did, I mean, we, we got lucky with Tyrese Maxey. We got lucky with Joel Embiid. Everything else, we just, I don't know. We got a pie to our face. Like, when it came to the first-round picks we messed up with. Like, I was a big Brandon Ingram fan. People liked the Ben Simmons. I, I didn't really like Ben Simmons coming, coming out of LSU. People liked the fancy. They thought he was, he was going to be Magic Johnson or LeBron James. I didn't see it. But I like that Brandon Ingram because he reminded me of KD. Not saying he would be better than KD, but just the way he looks and how he plays, it reminded me of KD a little bit. And then going to the Markel Fultz. For us to trade up and give up an extra first-round pick to our rivals, the Boston Celtics, to move up to the first overall to draft Markel Fultz. And then what happened with him, even though it was some things that happened with him, it was just like, dang, the players that got drafted behind him, like Jason Tatum, for example, it's like, dang. And then Jason Tatum goes to the, the stinking Celtics. So it's just like, it's just mistakes that we made. But the one, and then, then then the whole, like, signing certain players that we shouldn't sign. Like, for example, Tobias Harris. You know I mean? He's playing good this game. But to give him that $180 million deal, I think that was a mistake when you could have got a, a other solid role players to build this roster out. Or keep Jimmy Butler. You know what I mean? But I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, Jimmy Butler would have stayed with the Sixers if we just gave all that money to him. And, and he's right. actually worth that money. Right. Leonard gives it to Paul George. Paul George, what's he going to do with it? He gives it to Leonard. Leonard going between his legs, trying to cross up Tobias Harris, but he gets fouled before the shot on the floor foul. Yeah, I, I would have loved. But then again, I think it was a choice between – I don't even think it was Tobias and Jimmy Butler. I think it was the choice between Ben Simmons and Jimmy Butler. Because I, I truly feel – that they were deciding to go with the younger player, you know what I mean, with the potential to be really, really good over the older player 
that even though he's good, he's a little bit. They, I guess they say he's drama. There's a lot of drama that comes with him, even though I don't think so. I love, I love the intensity. Yeah, that that was uh, kind of like what the media was portraying at the Right. Time. I don't think I, I want every player to play like Jimmy Butler. You know what I mean? I want every player to play like that, not this friendly. Yeah, like Jimmy Butler, like Kelly Oubre. You, you want every player to play like that. Facts, facts. Every player. And I feel like that was another mistake right there. You know what I mean? That was another mistake. But I just feel like as much as – oh, nice take, nice layup by – come on, y'all. All right, so 54-43, 11-point game, six minutes and seven seconds I left. Hope, in the I hope quarter. we hold on to this lead. Yeah, but yeah, halftime. We got to yeah, keep it. Have to, have to. Yeah, so Tyrese Massey bounce past the KJ Martin, gives it to Tobias Harris, shoots a three, and he misses it. Mobama trying to get the offensive rebound, but it is out of bounds on the Sixers. So now it's Clippers ball. Leonard's going to inbound the ball. But yeah, man, like I just feel like I don't know, man. I'm 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 still sorry about last season. You know what I mean? I'm still sorry. I'm just yeah. like, dang, how did we lose that game? How did we lose six and seven, bro? Like, and, and was it on like uh, Mother's Day or something? Too? I think so. I think so. Oh, yeah. three by was that it by Leonard? Oh my gosh, they're coming back. Eight point game. Yup, Leonard hit a three. And oh, what's your opinion on Paul George? Would you sign Paul George to a max? Uh, no, I I, I wouldn't sign him to a max contract because what's his age? Like 30, 33. He's 33, 33 won't be 34. He, I forgot when his birthday was. Why would we sign a player to a max contract? If they might only have like one or two years left in there, that's a good point. I mean, so why do we nice keep take. signing these washed players, right? Right. Tobias Harris just hit a midi, fifty-six to forty-six, ten-point game. Yeah, I, I don't want to say he's washed. I think that's a little dang. AJ, you feel Not like he's washed? washed? Really much. Like well, I, I'm I mean, like Kyle Lowry and stuff like that. Yeah, that's that's more considered washed. But like, I think I think Paul George, if he can stay, I know it's the if if he can stay healthy, he can he can still be solid. But I I wouldn't want to give a a max contract to him. Just if it was Leonard, I would. Like if it was Leonard, I would do that. But Leonard's with the Clippers. He signed the max with the Clippers, right? So, oh, good, good. Man, we balling right now. We balling. 59 to 46. Let's go. Um, Yeah, I would do it with Leonard with an injury history. I would do that. But Leonard with a wide open corner three. Missed it. Let's Rebound go. by the Sixers. Let's go, baby. What you going to do with it, bro? Gives it to Ty. Oh, nope. Fixed it. Let's go. Oh, going between his legs. Driving to the lane. Gives it to Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris is balling right now. He calling for a screen from Mobamba. Uses the screen. Driving to the lane. Driving to the lane. Lay up off the backboard. And he makes it. Good job, Tobias Harris. Wow. You think, you think he's going to keep it up this game? Or is he going to start making shots? Man, I hope I hope he keep, we need him. I'll tell you that. This game, 61-46. to 46, Leonard is getting double teamed. And then he turns the ball. Is it a turnover? I think it's a turnover. It's still Clippers ball. Yo, I'm going to tell you this right now, though. Tobias got a different swag. I have no clue why he's playing like this. Why can't he yeah. do this every game? Like, why can't he do this almost every no, game? Not, not this every game, but at least like. Like, like something similar. Like half of yeah. this effort. Half of this effort. points, I need. eight rebounds, five assists. Give That's me like, something, man. Oh, step back three. And James Harden airballed a step back three. 61 to 46. We're blow we're about to start. No, I don't want to say blowout. Don't say that, Mike. I don't want to jinx us. Let's go. We ain't up by 20 yet. Until we up by 20, and I ain't gonna say blowout. Tyrese Maxey with the ball gives it to Kelly Oubre. Then he gives it right back to Tyrese. Tyrese gives it to Kelly Oubre. What you gonna do? You gonna shoot the three in James Harden's face? No, he's driving. He starts to dribble, gives it to Tobias. Tobias puts up a midi and he makes it. What? Tobias. How Let's go. Yo, I don't even know how many points Tobias. I'm about to look that up right now. Tobias is balling right now. Tobias is balling right now. Tobias got. Let me see what he got right now. Let me see what Tobias. Tobias got it. Oh, hit the hit the midi midi. All right, so Tobias has 17 points. First half points. No wow. way. No. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised to keep it real. I'll, I'll keep it going, though. Keep it going. Let's no, go, I'm, Kelly Oubre Jr. I'm obviously still not sold on him. Oh no, I'm not either. He gotta be. He gotta be more concerned. That's what I'm nervous about when we get to the playoffs. Oh, 
Nice pass to Paul George, but he misses the layup, and then he gets his miss. What you going to do with it? Paul George with the ball, gives it to James Harden. Gets a screen, driving to the lane. Nice pass to James Harden. Ooh, nice finish by, uh, is it Daniel Teese? So uh, he got the little runner. 63 to 50, timeout by the Philadelphia 76ers. 13 point game. I love it. I'm loving what I'm seeing though. Yo, My whole Mike, TY in the Mike, building. I got a question for you. Talk so, to me. Talk to me. Who do you think had a bigger impact, you know, the, uh, uh, out of the players that we acquired uh, during the trade deadline? Is it Kyle Lowry or is it Cameron Payne? Honestly, I would think it would be Cameron Payne. I know that sounds, I mean, I think Cameron Payne because when he does play, for the most part, he balls out, bro. On both sides of the court, offense and defensively. The problem is I'll be feeling like Nick Nurse just, I don't know if he just doesn't trust him. I don't know what it is, but I feel like he should probably get more minutes than Kyle Lowry. Just, just my opinion. My opinion. Maybe yeah, because Kyle Lowry can't really like score the ball that well anymore. He just, he, he is, he's a good passer and he's a good defender. Facts, facts. I like yeah. Cameron Payne. I think that was a good, solid pickup. Honestly, can I? I'm gonna even say this. I even like him better than Buddy Hill. I know people are gonna be like, stop the cap. Maybe Buddy Hill will be better when Joel Embiid comes back. But there's, yeah, I don't know what it is about Buddy Hill. Like, he'll be wide open for a three and he'll airball the thing. Like, it's like, come on, bro, at least hit the rim. But then he'll, and then after he'll airball it, he'll hit like two or three threes. I'm like, come he's on, a, bro, he's like, a little bit inconsistent. Yeah, like, maybe that's the reason the Pacers traded him. Yeah, he's a little, but I think it's gonna get a lot better. Shout out the teacher guy game. I yeah. think it's gonna get a lot better. When uh, Joel Embiid comes back, see Joel Embiid just the impact that he has is, is is just like why he was the MVP. I'm I, I'm just like I'm like part of me is like man I'm trying to be as optimistic as possible, and then part of me is like the keep it real. Is he going to be so rusty? How is he going to be in game shape? Like yeah. how is he going to be in game shape even if he is healthy? And because, and do we play him in the playing tournament? If he's, if he's trying to win. <laughs> I mean, we, we're trying to make the playoffs, right? We're not trying yeah. to like, miss the playoffs. That's, that would be terrible. Oh, yeah. Aiden Malik, I agree. Kyle Lowry does bring that leadership, and he brings, like, he'll he'll draw, like, charges and stuff like that. I agree with that. But, like, overall, I just think Cameron Payne brings more, just my opinion. And if he was to start next to Tyrese Maxey, I think that would be, I think that'd be all right. And then, you know, and that's why I'm a big D'Anthony Melton. I know you don't really like D'Anthony Melton like that, but I am ai like the D'Anthony Melton starting next to Tyrese. I just think he brought a different element when it came to defense, obviously, just defense. I know sometimes when he drives to the rim, he's driving on three defenders, then he gets blocked, but I do like his aggression. And then when he did come back for those couple of games, he did come back, he, had, he was playing good. And then he got hurt again. I'm not even sure what the heck is wrong with him. It's, I don't know if it's – like, what's, is it a bulging disc in his back? Is it a herniated disc? Like, what is wrong with Anthony Melton? But um, I just feel like we need – see, Kyle Lyra, I don't know. He just doesn't bring the, the energy consistent enough for me. Like, Cameron Payne, he comes in the game, it's, it's instant energy. Oh, Buddy Hill for three. Misses it. Rebound by Paul George. But I do like Kyle Lowry, though. Oh, nice pass to Leonard for the slam. 63 to 52, 11 point game, one minute and 34 seconds. We will be having the lead at halftime. Let's, we'll just see how much, how big the lead would be. You know what's crazy? Like, when we was talking about the, the whole Clippers wanting James Harden and like we couldn't make the trade happen for a while because we wanted Terrence Mann. I could see why they didn't want to give up Terrence Mann. Terrence Mann, I, I like his defense and he can definitely hit that three. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball, 63-52, one minute and 20 seconds left. Buddy Hill with the ball, gives it to Kelly Oubre Jr. Oh, nice take. He missed the layup off the back, but that's not like Kelly Oubre Jr. missing that layup like that. All right, one minute and eight seconds left in the second quarter. Leonard with the ball being guarded by Tyrese. That's a matchup from him. Get the double team. Oh, gets fouled. He's going to the free throw line for two. Dang. Lowry is a solid point guard still. Yeah. He's a solid point guard, but I don't know about starting him though. Like, I mean, I I, I understand, but I don't know, man. I don't know. 
I don't know if it's like a Nick, a Nick Nurse, you know, he knows Kyle. He probably trusts him, and especially in the playoffs, you know. I don't know. But you need a veteran point guard next to Tyrese. Tyrese Maxey is still super young. I don't even think he's 20. Is he 23? 22? I don't even know. Oh, damn. My boy, I, was, I thought AJ was still in the, on the uh, live. Hold on. What's up, AJ? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. My bad. I was like, I was like, where did AJ go? Oh, I don't know what happened. I think I like. I All right, let's go. Oh, Forty-eight yeah, seconds left in the second. Nine point lead now, so I think we should start. Ooh, Tobias missed the midi rebound by James Harden. Fast break. He has Buddy Hill guarding him. Layup off the backboard. Buddy misses it, but they Terrence Mann gets the offensive rebound. All right, eleven on shot clock. Come on, 10, 9, 8. Seven, come on, Leonard being guarded by Buddy Hill. Oh, snap. Three on the side clock, shoots the midi over top of Buddy Hill, and nothing but net. Oh, my gosh, bro. Yo, I need, yo, I wish Leonard was on the Sixers, bro. I, I, that's one of my dream players I wish we could have got, bro. Like, I wish. I know I understand the injury history, but my gosh, bro. I'll take the chance. LeBron should not have went to the Lakers. He should have came to the Sixers. And he would have hey, won multiple. I, championships bro i've been saying that man from the longest i've been saying that bro like i've been saying all right by the way the halftime sixes are up 63 to 56 that's not good i know they can't they they chipped in the lead a little bit at the end but like i've been saying that about lebron like lebron you was in the you would have been in the eastern conference which was an easier conference you would have had joel Embiid and tyrese maxi and i believe ben simmons right I think Ben Simmons would have got traded for somebody. <laughs> I'm pretty sure LeBron James would have made that happen. Um, or he would have stepped his game up. He would have had no choice. You know, I was just talking to my friend earlier. I said, yo, what if Ben Simmons got traded to L.A. Lakers? You know, there was rumors that he wanted to go to the Lakers or, or something like that. Imagine if, like, he played with Kobe Bryant, like, when Kobe was, of course, playing. Oh, like, how would, how would Ben Simmons deal with that? Like, you know, Kobe would have made him shoot the damn ball. Like, imagine if he would have played with Michael Jordan. You think Michael Jordan would have said, what do you think Michael Jordan would have said to him? Shoot, like, shoot that damn ball. Like, if Michael I'm going to pick Jordan a roll, shoot the ball. Michael Jordan would have punched him in his face. Yes. He would have punched him in his face. Like, bro, what is you doing? Larry is solid. Uh, they gave up. They gave up way more, though. Uh, they only had to give up, man. And a first. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So they, so you're saying that they only had to give up man and a first for James Harden? So we gave so what did we get? We got so hey AJ. So what we what did we get from the trade for James Harden? We got two first round picks, a first round pick swap, right? Yeah, and then we got Batum, KJ Martin, and uh Nicholas uh, wait, and Marcus Morris. All right, Marcus. Oh, that's who I was talking. Marcus Morris. And then uh the two second round picks. Yeah, and then uh, basically we also we got Buddy Hield Batum and oh yeah, all that together. You're right, all that together, and Cameron Pay, all that together. All right, so man, so what's your gut feeling for off season? Do you think we're going for the star, or do you think we're going to get a whole bunch of role players that are good, like a Malcolm I mean, Brogdon? I'm and... kind of scared because it's Daryl Morey does oh, not man. go for. Role I got to see the free agencies, man. Cause, I don't yeah, because really... Daryl Morey. He, he's always star hunting, so. Yeah. I, yo. Oh, hold on. Keep my boy to buy. Uh, but um, Joker and Buddy Hill would be more deadly than Joel Jokers gives you perfect pass. Yeah, I think he would be deadly. Yeah, both ways. But, yeah, you're right. Joker is a way better passer than um Joel and B. Way better passer. But I still think it will be good, though. Cause when you think about it, remember when it was doing uh when it was uh Joel and B and Reddick? Bro, that was a nice little combination, bro. That was a nice little combo right there. But uh yeah, I agree with that. Joker's a better passer than Joel and B. But um what else? Uh, Someone see. said that um uh, why doesn't Ricky Council get playing time anymore? Yeah, that's a good point. Um, Ingram, like I don't understand why I just I don't know. I, I I really don't know. I have no clue. Maybe he's seeing things at practice that he's not liking, or maybe the last game he played it and played that well, and he's like, all right, I'm not going to 
I'm not going to play you in the playoffs, so why am I giving you minutes right now? Maybe it's that. I have no clue. I have no clue because, you know, the playoffs, the rotation is going to be – it's not going to be – I don't think Ricky Council is getting any minutes. <laughs> just say it. I'm just keeping it real. I like him. I mean, there was a few games where there was a couple of games he played better than Tobias Harris. You know what I mean? But um, and I yeah. think maximum he should get like 15 minutes, or maybe the secret weapon for the playoff. But I wouldn't give him uh, give him more than 15 minutes just to, for him to bring some energy or something. Yeah. Yes. Uh, why don't the ball break each other? Yeah. Anyways, Mike, I gotta go right now. All right, bro. Um, thanks for uh coming on the live, man. Nice talking to you, man. I appreciate yeah. you supporting me from the. I don't know how long ago it was, but I appreciate you uh vibing with me, bro. I really do, man. I really do, man. Have a wonderful day, and um, I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Yeah. See you next time. All right, bro. My boy T.Y. said, my boy T.Y. said, keep my boy Tobias, my boy Tobias hairs out your mouth. It's, it's our, uh, with it or not, I'm riding with my team. Man, Tobias Harris, I understand, I understand he's on the team, but you still gotta, you still gotta keep it real with these players. Any player that's not playing like they should play consistently, uh, you gotta call them out. You could be respectful, but like I'm not, I'm not gonna say he's a scrub. I can't stand him. He doesn't need to be on the NBA floor. I'm not gonna say all that, but for someone that is taking majority of the funds that you could spread out to other players that could possibly be better than him, he's a part of the reason why we don't have better pieces around our player, around Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey. Because if you could spread that 40 million to other players. I'm nine times out of ten, I think we would have a better chance of winning the championship. Just saying. You know what I mean? Because he's just not consistent. I like Tobias, you know what I mean? But he's just not consistent. You know what I mean? And like I said, I'm not mad at him for taking the money. I would have took the money. You know what I mean? But my gosh. But he's playing good this game. But we got to be, be consistent. It can't just be one good game. And everybody's like, oh man, he's he's the best man. And we can't crit we can't uh critique his play. No, we gotta keep it real. We gotta talk or talk about all these plays. Even when Joel Embiid is jacking up, I be talking about Joel Embiid as well. When Joel Embiid is messing up, I'll say, no, I'll say what I have to say about Joel Embiid. You know what I mean? But it's rare when Joel Embiid is messing up. But if he does, I'm gonna talk my talk about it. When Tyrese Maxey messes up, I'm going to talk my talk about it. But the problem is, nine times out of ten, Tyrese Maxey is going to ball. Joel Embiid is going to ball. So it's not really a, a too much of a discussion. Maybe in the playoffs, it'd be a little different when if they if they choke, then it's going to be a, definitely a big discussion. Because, you know, if the Sixers don't get out of the second round, I mean, it, if Joel Embiid comes back healthy, I'm talking about healthy because if he comes back and he's not healthy, then obviously we're not going to get nowhere. But if he comes back healthy and we still don't get out the second round, I guarantee I'm not going to be one of the people. I'm not going to be one of the people that's going to say this, but I know for a fact because I know the energy in Philly. Most Sixer fans, not most, I'm going to say at least 65% of the Sixer fan base is going to say trade Joel Embiid. I, 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 I can feel it, bro. Especially if we lose badly, bro, it's a wrap. My boy says Sixer stinks. Oh man, he needs to play good like that. The money he getting paid. Yeah, I I feel like that too. I'm going to see. Yeah, we don't win. It's no way. Yeah, LeBron James. I think he'll be good, but maybe not now for the Sixers. I mean, when before he went to the uh, Lakers, I thought he would have been a great addition, but not now probably. But my boy said, my boy Evan said, Sixers stink. Gosh, Lee. It ain't, I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see. If we win this game, we're going to see what happens. But shout out to everybody that's vibing with your boy. You already know the vibes, man. We're doing it big right now. If you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. I got like 11 people in the building, and I only got like, I think I see four likes. Maybe I'm, my thing didn't update. But I see, I see four likes with 11 people in the building. So if you can, just hit the like button. 
It is free. I promise. Um, yep, Tobias Harris needs to go. Dang, Chris Farrell. Yeah, I mean, after this, I'll say this. After this season, he's most likely gone. Uh, it, I don't think he's staying, but I just want more consistency, man. Because, like, in order for us to win a championship, because that's where I'm thinking. I'm thinking big picture. I want to win a championship so freaking bad, bro. Like, I did. I never witnessed a championship in Philadelphia 76er history. So it's like. Like the last time they won it was eighty three with Julius Irvin and and, and 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 uh um Moses Malone like like come on like that's the last time we seen that I wasn't alive to see that so we got close in two thousand and one against the Lakers but other than that bro we haven't been close since we haven't been close to winning a championship since two thousand and one bro with Allen Iverson and and Aaron McKee, and uh, Eric Snow, and Theo Ratliff. Who else was on the team? I can't even think off the top of my head. Was it Roger Bell? Um, Keith Van Horn? Go Sixers. Shout out to my bull. Shout out to my bull, Colin. Shout out to my bull, Colin. Shout out to my bull, Colin. Shout out to you, my guy. See six likes. Hit that like. All right. Six, yeah, six likes. Thank you for hitting the like button. I did see four. Now it's at six. If you can get it to ten, that'd be even better. Yeah, he said, uh, Nick Nurse trust. Uh, he said that's not his fault, man. And it's not his fault that he's getting paid, but it is his fault for being consistent every game. I, I look at it like that like, you're on the court, you're a professional, it's not like you're a rookie, you're a 31 year old veteran in the game, you've been in the game for 10 plus seasons, so it's all about effort and how bad you want it at that point. You're six foot eight, you can play, so it, I think it's more of his effort. You know what I mean? I, I don't think it's a talent thing with Tobias. It's his effort. All right, so Nick Nurse trusts Kyle Lowry. He knows him. Nick got into the shoe in the club. He... Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Aiden, that's how you feel? I hope not. I hope, I hope he chooses the best for the team at the end of the day. Um, uh, C6 likes hit that like button. All right, shout out to Chris for real. My guy, shout out to my boy Zoe in the freaking building, man. My boy Zoe in the building. Um, uh, read my last comment. Uh, you're hold up, you're locked, Clippers fan. Oh, you're a local Clippers fan. Okay. Oh, so you're a local Clippers fan, huh? Okay. I ain't mad at you. Y'all got a good chance. I don't think y'all getting out the West, though. I'm sorry. Y'all not getting out the West, bro. Y'all not getting past the Nuggets. Y'all not getting past the uh, Timberwolves if they get healthy. You might not even get past the dang on Thunder. I'm I'm keeping it real. The, 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 the West is stacked. I'm not saying y'all can't. Y'all do have the talent. Leonard is a freaking monster. Um, James Harden, I don't know about him in the playoffs. Paul George, if healthy, he can ball, and you have a good coach. But it's going to be hard for y'all to get out the West. And I'm just keeping it real. Like, I, I as much as I like Paul George, he hasn't, I mean, he hasn't, I don't know, man. I don't know. James Harden, I witnessed it last season. James Harden, what did he do with the Sixers in the playoffs? He forgot that he had to score the ball. You know what I mean? I, I'm cool. Bro. I, I I think the Clippers got enough talent if they play at their at a at their high level. Like if, if James Harden plays like he can play, if Leonard can play like he can play, and Paul George can play like he can play, they got a chance to win it all. But I don't see it. I don't see the I don't see them being that consistent to get out the West. That's just my opinion. You know what I mean? That's just my opinion. Um that's just started the slippers today. My bad. I hit. Uh, I hit. Hold it. The light bulb rose. Oh, it's all good, bro. I just. I'll be trying to remind people because I'm like, dang. I'll be like, I had like 11 people in the chat, and I'll be having like four likes. I'm like, gosh, Lee, what's going on with the likes? But shout out to everybody that's in the building right now. If you haven't hit the like button, make sure you hit the like button. Consider subscribing to your bull. I'll do play by play for most of the Sixer games this season. 
Philly everything besides football. Football, I'm a Viking fan, so I am a hybrid sports fan from PA. So on this channel, we covering Sixers, obviously. I'm going to be covering the Phillies. First game for the Phillies is the 28th, coming up real soon, which is, what is that, Thursday? I, I, I don't even know. Is that What day is it? Um, so I'm going to be doing the Phillies, some play-by-plays for the Phillies, not all the games, and I'm going to be doing, um, of course, the Vikings. So I, I'm not going to be the dude to fly. I think that's going to be too much. I, I don't know if I, I – shoot, I got a family. I don't know if I can do too much <laughs> more than this, um, to be honest with you. But I'm going to do the three main sports in America, football, basketball, and baseball. But I think this Phillies team is going to be something special, man. Um, Joel Embiid, uh, Mike, do you think – the Vikes should draft wide receiver. Uh, they um a scolding. I think they need to focus first. They got to focus on the trenches, meaning the defensive tackle and quarterback. And after that, yeah, once they get that taken care of, anything they can do anything they want. <laughs> you feel me? Um, Jordan B at some point had he's got to figure out some way to stay. That's true. Otherwise, we yeah. I, I feel I feel like you're a hundred percent right. I just want us to build a quality team around them. You know what I mean, they made so many mistakes throughout the years. I was just breaking it down about the first round picks. We messed up with Markel Fultz. Not not trying to blame him completely because things happen. But and then we messed up Ben Simmons. We messed up with Ben Simmons draft. So it's like you had two first overall picks and you jacked up both of them. You know what I mean? So it's like and then on top of that, you're not doing good in free agency overall. When you had Jimmy Butler, you let him go. It's just so many mistakes. So if you build around Joel Embiid, maybe he doesn't maybe he doesn't have to put up 35 points. Not not trying to give him any excuses, but take some of that pressure off of him scoring. If you like like we seen a couple of games we couldn't even score 80 points. You know what I mean? That's why he has to have that big of a load because he knows you know the vibes. We all know, but we just have to build a better team and just hope the best he stays healthy. But I, I do agree. He has to do better being healthy. Oh, nice, 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 nice pass. And then uh, Zubac is going to go to the free throw line for two. All right, y'all. We in the third quarter, 63 to 56. Shout out to everybody that's vibing with your boy. I truly appreciate each and every one of y'all that's in the building. Robin, shout out to you. My boy, uh, Robin says Sixers stink week in in Philly. Russell could be back losing both games. Sixers terrible heat going to tear the Sixers. Oh, my gosh. Dang, that's how you – hey, hey, bro. Like, what's up with you, bro? Like, that's how you feel? <laughs> Dang. My gosh. We got some we got some Sixers haters up in the building. Shout out to y'all, though. Because you know what? If you don't got no haters, you ain't popping. You feel me? That's how I look at it. If you don't got no haters, you ain't popping. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey gives it to Kelly Uber Jr. for a corner three. Misses it. Rebound by Paul George. Gives it to Leonard. Leonard getting guarded by Kelly Uber Jr. And Tyrese. Like a, like a, a double team. The main defender is Tyrese. Backing him down. Shooting a midi over top of Tyrese. And it was too easy. Like, come on. They should have double teamed him get him get the ball out of his hand. Now it's a three-point game, y'all. It's a three-point game. It's a three-point game. And then we miss another shot. Oh, my gosh. Paul George going for the easy layup. Now it's a one-point game. Oh, my gosh. But we just got to the third quarter, bro. Y'all letting this happen? What, what, what the heck is going on, man? All right, Mobama. No, don't do the butterfingers right now, bro. Don't do the butterfingers right now. Tobias Harris with the ball. Let's go. Let's go. Get some screen by Mobamba. Tobias hits. What you going to do, bro? What you going to do, Tobias? What you going to do, Tobias? Bounce past the Mobama, shoots a little midi midi, and he makes it look easy. Shout out to my boy Mobamba. Mobamba. Yeah. Yeah, you already know the vibes. Yeah, family first. You already know the vibes with that. Let's go. J James Harden with the ball, gives it to Zubat. Gets blocked by Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Buddy Hill with the ball. He gives it to Kelly Oubre Jr. He's driving to the lane. Gets blocked by Zubak. Wow. Good defense on Kelly Oubre Jr. Kelly Oubre Jr. still on the ground. Hopefully. All right. They foul Leonard, and they're going to go check on Kelly Oubre Jr. He's still on the ground. Winston and paying up. He's getting up. He's limping. That's not a good sign. I don't like that. Get up, Kelly. Get up, Kelly Oubre Jr. We need you, man. 
We lose you, bruh. Come on, bruh. Come on, bro. We need you, bro. Oh, he, oh, he fell on that floor hard. Gosh, Lee. Goodness gracious. But good defense by Zubac, man. Zubac with that good defense is that was good. I ain't gonna lie. I can't hate on the Clippers with that with that particular defensive play. Zubac did his thing right there. But he's going to the locker room. He's limping. Hopefully, he's okay because we need him in the worst way. He's been playing good the last few games. But shout out to everybody that's vibing with your boy. I really appreciate each and every one of y'all. Let me catch up in the chat. Joel B should leave for his own good if he wants to win a championship. He has to go to a team that already built so he can, oh my gosh, so he can at least win one championship, not what we want. But, whew, that's a tough take, but I, 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 I'm, I'm not there yet. I ain't there yet. Uh, Paul George shoots a three and he makes it. Oh my gosh, bro. Game is tied, 65 to 65. I'm not completely there yet, bro, because I just feel like I I'm just not giving up yet. But he'll shoot a three, and he makes it. Let's freaking go. Put the threes in the chat, y'all. Put the threes in the chat. Shout out to my bull, Ryan Rowe, in the building. Double team and rebound into passing the ball. Don't let Zubac score. Yes, facts. I agree, bro. Oh, nice. See, there's no defense right there. And uh, Leonard literally just... Hold on, what was that? But shout out to everybody in the building, y'all. Shout out to everybody that's in the building. Trying to see what's up with this thing on. All right. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Tobias here's with the ball. Being guarded by James Harden. Then he passes it to a wide open. Oh, come on, shoot the three. What you going to do? Drive him to the lane. Kicks it out to Tobias. Tobias. Oh, he's playing. Oh, wow. James Harden just took the ball from Tobias Harris. Paul George backing him down. Gives it to James Harden. He fakes the three. Step back three by James Harden. Misses it. And it is sixer ball. Whew. 68 to 65. Eight minutes and 41 seconds left in the third quarter. And the 76ers looks like they just turned the ball over. I don't know. I wonder how it would be to be a ref in the NBA. I think that'd be a cool job. No, he ain't touch it. He ain't touch it. Hold on. Let me see. Did he tip? I can't see from that angle. Dang, still Clippers ball. Three by Paul George, and he missed it. Rebound by Buddy Hill. But it was a turnover anyway. He was out of bounds, so... All right, so Buddy Hill's going to inbound the ball. Let's go. We got to win this game, man. Must win. One game at a time. We're going to see what happens, man. We're going to see what happens. Shout out to everybody that's vibing with your ball. Scolding. Slippers. <laughs> Let's go. You know. Tobias Harris, what you going to do with it, bro? Gives it to Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill gives it up. Up. Oh, Tyrese Maxey being guarded by Paul George. He's backing down Paul George. Getting double teamed. Pass the ball, Tobias. Oh, he turns the ball over. He gives it right to James Harden. James Harden gives it to Leonard. Leonard shoots a wide open three. Misses it, though. Get the rebound. Oh, man. See, we got to start. We got to score, man. Like, this team is not playing the best. Like, the Clippers are not playing that good. We need to score right here. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey with an easy layup. No defense by the Clippers. Good job by Tyrese Maxey. Realizing the, def the uh, Clippers defense was falling asleep. And he got that easy layup off the backboard. 70 to 65, 7 minutes and 49 seconds left. James Harden driving to the lane. Layup. Too easy. Too easy, man. Too easy, bro. 70 to 67. 7 minutes and 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Shout out to everybody that's in the building right now. I truly appreciate it. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. Gives it to Buddy Hill. He shoots a three wide open. Misses it. Short. Off the rim. Leonard with the rebound. Looking around, going between his legs, trying to cross up Tyrese Max. Oh, he kind of did. Gives it to Terrence Mann. Terrence Mann gives it to a wide open Paul George from a corner three and makes it nothing but net and ties the game. And there's a full timeout by the Philadelphia 76ers. Whoo. Mike, it'd be uh it'd be cool to be a ref before a coach. 
Yeah. I wouldn't mind. I think, yeah, the coaches, man, they probably have fun. I'm restarting the 76. <laughs> Money Maxi. Collins. Collins. Money Maxi. Money Maxi. Let's go. Let's go. Here, I'm going to see something real quick. That is. Y'all, can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me in the mic? I'm just making sure I'm just playing with this uh this dial in the back of my mic, making sure y'all can hear me. Can y'all hear me? Hope y'all can hear me. All right, so I know we wasn't. All right, I knew we wasn't going to run the Clippers out of the building. Yeah. Ten. Yeah, I don't think we was going to run them out of the building, but we can still play good enough where it's like, yo, like we can make this a close game to the fourth and we can win it at the end. Just keep it close. You know what I mean? He said 10, 9, 8. You starting the Sixers over? <laughs> Mike, I'm, I can't hear you. Seven, waxy, maxi in the build. I hope. I'm really hoping. This is what I'm hoping, y'all. Where we at? Where we at right now? Um, it's seventy. It's seventy to seventy. I just hope we can get on. I hope. First of all, I hope Kelly Oubre Jr. is is good. Um, that's number one. Um, I'm hoping that Tobias Harrison get hot again, and Ty and Tyrese Maxi can get hot, so we can um win this game, man. We need to pull this game. I think the I think the Clippers are not playing their A game. And I think we need we're playing really good. We can win this game. Let's go, man. I'm I'm optimistic, bro. Damn we blew yeah, we blew the lead, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like that's why I be like, I, I think I jinxed us. I might have jinxed the squad, bro. <laughs> 76ers need to draft draft picks in the worst way I get um I get we man. Bro, I don't even trust a. Hey, I'm a hey, like what you just said, Aiden. I don't even trust it, bro. I don't even trust us drafting any players. I'm done with it. We can have the first overall pick, bro. I'm cool. But then again, Daryl Murray didn't make those moves, so Daryl Murray might be able to get the right piece. But I'm just saying, I'm cool, bro. There's no way you get two first. Oh, excuse me. Two first overall picks. Wrong, you know what I mean? All right, let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. Oh, is Kyle Lowry hurt? He hasn't played all game. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball, driving. Oh, getting double teamed. Gives it to a wide open Buddy Hill for a three, and he makes it look easy. Put the threes in the chat, y'all. Put the threes in the chat. Shout out to everybody in the building. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Consider subscribing to your boy. I do play by play for most of the Sixer games. Philly, everything besides it. Besides football, Paul George for a three, and he makes it. Back-to-back -back threes, one by the Sixers, one by the Clippers. The game is tied 73-73. to 73. This is a good game, ladies and gentlemen, on this wonderful Sunday. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. Let's go. Let's go. Tyrese shoots a midi, misses it. Rebound by Kelly Uber Jr. He puts it up, and he gets it in. Let's go. Let's go. Kelly Uber Jr. seems like he's all right. That's a good thing. That is a wonderful thing. Let's go. Paul George with the ball. Gives it to Zubac. Zubac gives it to Man. Man's driving on Tyrese Maxey. He passes it back to Paul George. Paul George being guarded by Buddy Hill. Gets the screen by Man. Bounce pass. Behind his back to Terrence Man. He goes up hard in the paint. And Mobamba. Oh, my gosh, he blocks him, and good defense by Mobamba. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey driving to the lane, shoots the floater, and he misses it, but he go, go, he's going to the line for two. The Sixers are up 75 to 73, five minutes and 43 seconds left in the third quarter. Let's go, man. Let's freaking go. One, zero, three, Clippers score. Nah, man. But talk that talk, man. Shout out to everybody that's in the building, man. I appreciate y'all. We're going to see what happens, man. We're going to see what happens. This game is a good game. We could definitely win this game. 
But I noticed that Mobamba is getting more minutes than Paul Reed. What the heck is going on? Is Paul Reed doing that bad in Nick Nurse's eyes? Because it just don't seem like Paul Reed's getting a lot of minutes nowadays. I don't know what it is. Paul Reed, as I, I'm saying, that he comes on the floor from Obama. But but still, like, he not getting the minutes I'm expecting him to get, even though he's coming off the bench. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey makes his free throws. 77 to 73, four-point game by the Philadelphia 76ers. Let's go. Five minutes and 38 seconds left in the third. Paul George with the ball gives it to Leonard. Leonard, what you going to do with it, bro? He's driving on Tobias Harris. He gives it to Terrence Mann. Terrence Mann gives it to James Harden. James Harden with the ball. What you going to do, James Harden? He gives it right back to Leonard. Leonard's being guarded by Tyrese Maxey. I don't like this matchup. A three by Leonard, and he misses it at the buzzer. Good job, bro. Good job. Rebound by Paul Reed. Gives it to Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill gives it to Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey's looking for a screen from Paul Reed, but he doesn't use it. Bounce pass to Paul Reed. Paul Reed's going hard in the paint. Shorty, what you think? And he makes it. Hard in the paint. Shorty, what you think? Hard in the paint. Shorty, what you... Uh, 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 go Sixers, baby. You already know the vibes, though. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Paul Reed with the ball. Oh, what's he going to do with it? Stops his dribble. Gives it to James Harden. James Harden gives it to Zubac. But it's a steal by Paul Reed in the mud. Paul Reed in the mud with the steal. 79 to 73. Four minutes and 42 seconds left in the third quarter. Tyrese Massey bounced uh, behind the back. Pass to... To Paul Reed. Paul Reed gives it to Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill's looking around. Gives a bounce pass to Paul Reed. And he loses the ball. Leonard tips the ball to Paul George. And Paul George goes for the dunk. But Kelly Oubre Jr. blocks him. Clean block. And Paul George oh, is looking for a foul. Oh, my gosh. I got to see that again. Oh, my goodness. Paul George goes for the dunk. And he gets blocked. Blocked. By Kelly Oubre Jr. Get that soft crap out of here. Look at this block, y'all. Y'all see this block? Y'all watching this game? Blocks. Look at that, man. That's why I like Kelly Oubre Jr. so much, man. That's why I like Kelly Oubre Jr. so much, man. That's why I like him so much, man. I, I, I... Yeah, that's why I like him so much. Let's go, let's go. Oh, nice take by Tyrese Maxey. Easy layup off the backboard. 81 to 75. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go, bro. Six-point lead by the Sixers. James Harden driving to the lane on Paul Reed, but he turns the ball over. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. Let's go, baby. Let's make this an eight- or nine-point game. Let's go, Sixers, baby. Let's go. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Consider subscribing to your ball. Three by Tyrese Maxey. He misses it. James Harden with the rebound. He gives it to Paul George. Whew. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's go. Paul George going to be between his legs, trying to cross up Kelly Uber Jr. Oh, snap. I think it's personal now. Oh, shoots the midi. Misses it. But there's a travel by Paul George. And Kelly Uber Jr. is playing shutdown defense on Paul George. He blocked him at one point. Now he's making him travel. Look at this, man. This is the type of defense we need. Look like he looked like Paul George pushed off. Excuse me, y'all. But yeah, it looked like he pushed off on that play on that play. Cameron Payne with the ball. Let's go. Cameron Payne with the ball. He gives it to Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey looking around, gets the screen by K.J. Martin, shoots the three, and he misses it off the rim. Leonard with the rebound. Leonard's looking around. He's looking around. What you going to do with it, bro? Oh, being guarded by Kelly Oubre Jr., and he almost got the ball from him. And then Leonard gets shoots a midi wide open, misses it. Rebound by Paul Reed. Great defense by the Sixers on the last couple of possessions. Eight to two running last three minutes and 21 seconds. And then K.J. Martin, looked like he turned the ball over, but it was a foul. Good job, Sixers, man. We are doing – we're playing well, man. We're playing well. Norman Powell think he's something. Nah, bruh. Nah. We got to talk that talk, talk that talk in the comments, man. Let's get it, man. Mike Sports Vibes, thank you for vibing with me. Everybody that's in the building, man, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button. Consider subscribing to your boy. You already know the vibes, man. Let's do it, man. Let's get it. Let's get this dub, man. This is an important game. We're playing excellent, man. We can definitely get this dub. We can definitely 
get this dub. Yes, Coach Jackson. Shout out to Coach Jackson, Chris Farrell, Collins, 85, T.Y., my boy Evan, Aiden, everybody in the building. Paul Reed will foul out. And yeah, you ain't lying. He fouls out. But my whole thing is like, I still like Paul. I, I don't know. Maybe I like Paul Reed. I want to see more minutes, man. I mean, I know Mobama's playing all, all right. But, man. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. But uh, shout out to everybody that's in the building, man. Uh, I hope all the Slipper fans don't run away. Yeah, the, all the Slipper fans, they was in the building at, at one point. I don't know what's going on now. They ain't, I haven't seen no, 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 no Slipper fans in a minute in the comments, man. They was talking all that smack, but they ain't. I don't see them no more. I don't know what happened to them. They, they just disappeared out of nowhere. Y'all just disappeared out of nowhere. Like, what happened? What happened? Y'all was talking all that smack. Now y'all don't got nothing to say now, huh? Y'all don't got nothing else to say, huh? But shout out to everybody that's in the building, man. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I really do. It's definitely going down. Hey, I'm going to say this right now. If the Sixers somehow win this game, it's a celebration because we need it. We're going to jump. I think we're going to probably – hold on. Let me see the standings real quick. Let me see the standings real quick. Standings. All right, so if we win this game, we can definitely be at least a seven seed. Yeah, we can be the seven seed. We ain't moving up more than that. I remember one game we won, we went from the eighth seed to the sixth seed. You know what I'm saying? But the Pacers got 40 wins, we got 38. So we're going to have to, we got to get on a little winning streak, man. Somehow, some way. So, as any – oh, my boy, Stefan, Arpin, Clippers, we already won. Let's go, Stefan. Let's go, bro. You already know the vibes, man. Shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you. You already know the vibes, man. We already won. Let's get it. Speak it into existence, you know. Speak it into existence. I like that. Let's go. Kelly Oubre Jr. with the ball being guarded by Norman Powell. He's driving to the lane. Gets blocked by – Yo. Zubac is playing some good defense, bro. Let's go. Leonard with the ball. Trying to cross out KJ Martin. Layup up the backboard. Too easy. 81 to 77. Two minutes and 32 seconds left in the third quarter. The Philadelphia 76ers are doing their thing. They, they're, holding, they're holding on right now. Let's go. KJ Martin with the ball. Gives it to a Cameron Payne. Cameron Payne gives it up to Paul Reed. Paul Reed gives it to Cameron Payne. Cameron Payne is about to shoot the three. Nope, he doesn't. Bounce pass to Paul Reed. Paul Reed gives it to Cameron Payne for a wide open three. Misses it. Rebound by Cameron Payne. Cameron Payne does a floater and he makes it. Let's freaking go. 83 to 77. 83 to 77. Yeah, Leonard is back. Yeah. Clippers are done. Adam said Clippers are done. Mike, are you going live? For I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know about tonight. Maybe tomorrow, maybe. Let's go. Oh, nice pass by the Clippers. To Brandon Boston for the easy slam dunk. 83 to 79. Four point game. One minute and 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. He's driving. He gives it to Kelly Uber Jr. He faced the three. He's driving to the lane. Kelly gives it to KJ Martin. KJ Martin gives it to Cameron Payne. Cameron Payne shoots the three and he makes it look easy. Shout out to the three gang. Put the threes in the chat, baby. Put the threes in the chat. Put the threes in the chat. Put the threes in the chat. Let's go. 86 to 79, seven-point game. Norman Powell with the ball, shoots it, and he gets it off the backboard. Five-point game, 86 to 81, one minute and three seconds left in the third quarter. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. What you're going to do when we come for you? Let's go. Tyrese gives it to Cameron Payne. Cameron Payne shoots the three, misses it. Rebound by Leonard. Damn, that, that box out by Zubek was crazy. Let's go. Trying to cross up KJ Martin, driving past him, shoots the midi over top of him, misses it. Rebound by Paul Reed. He's looking for a foul, but there wasn't a foul. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. KJ Martin with the left, but he misses it. Rebound by Amur. He gives it to Leonard. Leonard's driving past Cameron, Cameron Payne. Where's the – that's a late call, bro.
Why are these calls so late, bro? Oh, yeah. You hit him in the head. Oh, dang. I hope he's all right, man, because he got hit in the face or hit in the head. Um, KJ Martin. Oh, so he's not concussed. So he's still playing. All right, so 86-81. Leonard at the free throw line for two. Shout out to the whole, the whole, the squad that's in the building right now. Everybody that's in the building, man, I appreciate each and every one of y'all vibing with your boy for real. All right, so Leonard, that yep, three. Mike, would you let more peeps hop on the stream and chat? Yeah, yeah. I'll let anybody, yeah. I'll send the link. If you want to, if you want to come on the stream, let me know. I'll put the link. I'll put the uh Hold on, I'll put a uh, I'll put it out right now. Yeah, I got you. If you're trying to come on the stream, I'll put the link right now. I'll put the link in there right now. I'll put the link in there right now, bro. I think I just sent it. I just sent it right now. So if you want to hop on, just let me know. Let's go. Paul Reed with the ball. He gets it to Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese 86 to 83, bro. 86 to 83. Let's freaking go, Sixers. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey dropping right past him. Easy layup. Ooh. I'm loving it, bro. I'm loving it. Brandon Boston with the ball. Being guarded by Tyrese. He's driving to the lane and he gets the ball stolen by Cameron Payne. One shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Oh, he didn't get it off. He didn't get it off. But the Sixers are balling. The score at the end of the third quarter is 88 to 85. It is a five point game. Mike, I want to like get Daniels made pennies. That's yeah, I, I agree. I want Caleb the most, but I don't know if he's going to drop. He might drop though. I want May. Yep, I, I agree with you, Scolding. I 100% agree with you. I'll take any of them. Penix is an underrated player that people won't be mad when they don't draft him. They're going to be like, well, we should have just drafted him. Watch. I already know. I can see it now. I can see it now. You're going to regret not drafting him. If you can draft, if we don't, if we stick and pick and we don't draft him, we're going to regret that. But yeah. Shout out to everybody that's in the building, man. I truly appreciate it. I put the link in the uh, comments if you want to join. I can let you in. Depending on who you are, <laughs> but uh, Mike, I want yeah, yeah. But shout out to everybody that's vibing with your boy. Get this win, go Sixes. Colin is talking that talk. You already know, man. Like we got this is. I, I want to say this is a must win, but of course, like not. We need to win as much games as possible. We got to stay above the Bulls. I don't want to be in the play in. I don't want to be in the play in. Like I really want to try to get out of the play in scenario. To be honest with you. To keep it real. Like, I want to be like a fifth seed or like, you know what I mean? Or a sixth seed or something like that. Like, I ain't trying to be in the play-in. That's for the birds. You feel me? That's how I look at it. That's for the birds for me. I'm like, nah, bro. Nah. My boy Evan said, LA Clippers time. All right, we going to see. Just don't, hey, bro, don't leave, man. Do not leave. If we start beating the brakes off y'all in the fourth quarter, do not leave, bro. Stay in the chat. Stay in the chat, Evan. Stay in the chat. People be getting so mad. They be like, they be like, man, I'm out. <laughs> but yeah, man. It's definitely going down. Fourth quarter is about to begin. Good overall team play. The ball movement, the defense. You know, Kelly Oubre Jr. with that block on Paul George was nasty. Was nasty. I absolutely loved every second of that play. And I just love how Kelly Oubre Jr. be hype over everything, bro. That energy. That energy he brings to this game, to this team. Let's go. Hopefully it's contagious for the rest of this fourth quarter. Let's go. Rub off on everybody. Let's bring that energy. Let's go. Cameron Payne drives to the lane, and he turns it. Oh, my gosh. First, the first possession, y'all turn the ball over. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. All right, let's go. 88 to 83. 11 minutes and 41 seconds left. 
in the fourth quarter. Let's go. Norman Powell shoots the floater. He misses it. Rebound. All right, come on. Paul George with the ball being guarded by Tobias. Gets a screen by Zubat. Oh, he turns the ball over. Let's go, Cameron. Let's go, Cameron Payne. Cameron Payne gets the Tyrese Max. He's driving to the lane. He gets it to Paul Reed. Oh, that was a hard foul. Whew. All right, so that's a. Come on, bro. Murray need to stop fouling my bull, man. I'll be fouling my bull Tyrese like that, bro. Let's go. Cameron Payne's going to inbound the ball. 88 to 83, 11 minutes and 21 seconds left in the fourth. Let's go Sixers, baby. Let's go Sixers. Let's go Sixers. Let's go. All right, let's go. Cameron Payne with the ball. What you going to do with it, bro? What you going to do with it, bro? Cameron Payne driving. Gives it to Tobias. I mean, K KJ Martin. And then he gives it to Paul Reed. Paul Reed puts it up and he gets fouled going to the line for two. Shout out to Paul Reed with that. He said, I'm not passing it. I'm going to throw it up and I'm going to get fouled. By Mason Plumley, Yo, I haven't seen him in a minute, bro. Mason P Plumley, I ain't seen him in a minute, bro. I forgot he was still playing. I forgot Bull was still playing, y'all. For real. All right, Paul Reed at the free throw line for two. Let's get it, man. Let's just keep it going. Let's keep it going. All right, he made it. All right, let's get it. So it's 90 to 83, seven-point game with 11 minutes left in the fourth quarter. James Harden gets a screen by Plumlee. And he's looking around. He tries to get to Plumlee, and he does for an alley-hoop slam dunk. Five-point game, 90 to 85, 10 minutes and 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter. I want to say shout out to the chat. Shout out to everybody that's vibing with your boy, Mike Sports Vibes. You already know the vibes. Let's get it. Cameron Payne driving to the lane. Ooh, nice pass to Cajun Martin, but it was a travel. He traveled. I seen that. I didn't know if it was a travel or not, but it looked like it, but that sucks. That was a nice setup by Cameron Payne. If he, if, if, if he didn't travel right there, that would have been nice. I will always give, like, see, I'm not the biggest James Harden, like, fan, but I, I respect this game, man. Respect this game. Let's go. Oh, Kelly Uber Jr. Oh, good defense on James Harden. There's a travel, a jump ball. But they didn't want to call the travel on James Harden, bro. Like, that was a travel, bro. That was a straight up travel. What is you, bro? That's a straight up travel. How do you not call travel on that play, bro? Before the jump ball. Nah, it should be our possession, bro. All right, James Harden versus Paul Reed for the jump ball. So James Harden trying to jump way too soon. All right. All right. Oh, man. We won it, but it went right to Norman Powell, and it's going to be another jump ball. Norman Powell and uh, KJ Martin. That's another solid piece that we got, Sixer fans. KJ Martin's been getting some meaningful minutes lately. So we did get a lot back for James Harden. I'm just kind of iffy about the Marcus Morris. I wish we would have kept him, but they won this hip off. It goes to Paul George. Paul George with the ball, eight, a five-point lead, 10 minutes and 25 seconds left. He shoots the three, missed it badly. Paul George missed everything from three. Let's go. 90 to 85, Sixer fans. Step back three by Tyrese Reese, and he makes it, baby. Put the threes in the chat. Put the threes in the chat. Put the threes in the chat. Shout out to everybody in the building. You're, thank, thanks for rocking with your boy. Let's go. Let's go. James Harden with the ball. Gives it to Plumlee. Plumlee gives it up to Paul George. Gives it to Murr. Gives it right back to Paul George. Let's go. Five on the shot clock. He's driving past KJ Martin. Good. Turnover. Sixers defense is straight up excellent. I'm absolutely loving it. Eight-point lead by the Philadelphia 76ers. Tyrese Maxey with the floater. He misses it. Um, Plumley. Oh, they got the steal. Let's freaking go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball shoots another three wide open and he makes it look easy. Can we put the threes in the chat? Can we put the threes in the chat? Full timeout, full timeout by them stinking clippers. Full timeout by them stinking clippers. Full timeout 
by them stinking Clippers. Put the threes in the chat, baby. Put the threes in the chat. He said no threes, negative threes. Nah, we ain't doing all that. Let's go Sixers, Chris, for real. Let's go 49ers. Let's go. Shoot. 49 <laughs> Man, I ain't I ain't mess with the 49ers, man. They ain't gonna be no good next season. The Vikings are gonna be better than them. Yeah, I said it. But yeah, put the threes in the chat. Hey, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I'm gonna keep it 1,000. I, I if we can somehow pull this game off, bro. I'm gonna be super, I'm gonna be super excited, bro. Like this is a this is a good win. This will be the best win we had in a long time. Against a team that that's actually pretty good. Looking at this, this is my old mic right here, y'all. If y'all see it, I'm not sure if y'all see it in the video, but yeah, man, this will be a good, solid dub for the Philadelphia 76ers, and they definitely earned it if they get this dub. They're playing wonderful at the right time, and they can definitely win this game. They got to rebound and keep playing the way they playing. They're playing excellent. I'm loving it. This defense been playing so much better. Like, I, you know, all right, defense, I, I include everything. When I, when, I, when I talk about defense, like, of course, it goes to steals and blocks and all that. But I include defense and rebounds, too. And it, you can play good defense throughout the whole shot club. But if you're not getting that defensive rebound, all of it was for nothing. So we have to finish – and get our defensive rebounds. And I feel like we got this dub. Like like I said, the Clippers haven't been playing. Like, the Clippers haven't been playing that well, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, we yeah we need this win badly. Negative threes in the back of the We need this. We need this win badly for our confidence. Facts. Lions better than the Vikings. Oh, man. Stop the cap. It's like, no, they might. Yeah, they are better. Right now they are. Until we draft our quarterback. Whoever our quarterback is, I'm riding with. I have a feeling it's going to be Bo Nix or Michael Penix or Drake May or, or Jaden Daniels or Caleb Williams. Who I'm missing, y'all? Who I'm missing? It's going to be one of these quarterbacks. That's all I got to say. It better be. You feel me? Um, Eagles, Chiefs, Ravens, Vikings. All right, you got us fourth. I like that. I like that. I don't know about that. I don't think we. I don't think we the top. I don't think we a top team right now yet. Um, optim I'm I'm optimistic, but I don't know, man. Like we gotta see who our quarterback gonna be. That's, it can't be no dang on Sam Darnold. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Nobody. I don't care about. Oh, he was the third overall pick by the Jets. Oh, this and that. He got talent, man. I don't care about none of that, bro. I want our guy. I don't even want to see Sam Darnold. I'm not saying that I'm not gonna cheer for him when he plays because he's a Viking. He's a Viking. I love I love my Vikings, but dang, bro. Like, I'm not I'm not fooling with none of that, bro. I want my own guy, bro. Like, I feel like May is our guy to go. I hope so. Oh, nice. Nice. Who shot that? That was that was Tobias for three. Put the threes in the chat, baby. Put the threes in the chat. Everybody in the building, man. Put the threes in the chat. Oh, man. Tyrese Massey with the ball. 99 to 85. Eight minutes and 44 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Let's go. Bounce pass to Tobias. Tobias Harris with the ball. Gives it up to KJ Martin. KJ Martin gives it to Ty Tyrese Maxey driving to the lane. Floater. And he makes it look easy. 101 to 85, y'all. 101 to 85. The mighty Philadelphia 76ers are beating the Los Angeles Clippers. Paul George with a step back three on, on Tobias. And he bricks it. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. Being guarded by Paul George. He's driving on everybody. Puts it up and gets it in. Tyrese Maxey. Let's freaking go. 103 to 85. Eight minutes left. Zubak with the little jump shot in the paint and made it. 103 to 87. Seven minutes and 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And the Philadelphia 76ers are balling, baby. They are balling. Everybody on the Clippers playing. Oh, uh, man, I ain't worried about none of that. I ain't worried about none of that. Paul Paul Reed with the ball. Gives it to Cameron Payne. Cameron Payne shooting the three. And he makes it, baby. Put the threes in the chat. Put the threes in the chat. Put the threes in the chat. 
18 to 4 running last three minutes and 43 seconds. Let's go. 106 to 87. Let's freaking go, baby. Beating. Oh, man. A block. Oh, my goodness. A block on James Harden. Oh, my, my alarm's going off. Hold on, y'all. My alarm's going off. I got to make sure everything is, oh, is good. You know what I'm saying? I got to make sure everything is cool. But you know what I mean? What's it going? Uh, I got to make sure everything is good. My alarm's going off in the crib. Oh, I was about to say, I, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I got to make sure everything is good. Oh, gosh. I'm dang on Ch chair ghetto, man. My chair, my, 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 my pants getting hooked on my chair. I got to get a new uh, chair, y'all. All right, so look, 106 to 87. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. He gives it to Cameron Payne. Cameron Payne gives it to Tobias Harris. Tobias Harris gives it right back to Cameron Payne. Cameron Payne's looking around. What you going to do, bro? Six on the shot clock. He's driving to the lane. Driving to the lane on Paul George. He goes up. Gets blocked by Paul George. That was a nasty block. But it doesn't matter. We got that. We're going to get the ball back. Shout out to everybody vibing with your boy. All right, let's go. Let's go. No more of any threes, including Mike Sport. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, Paul Reed with the oh, nice inbound pass by Cameron Payne. And then to Paul Reed for the nice reverse layup off the backboard. 108 to 87. This is the type of game I love right here, baby. This is the type of game I love right here. 18 to 2 run in the last three minutes and 37 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Oh man. James Harden gives a nice pass to Zub. Plum, is that Plumley? He gets uh gets foul, goes to the free throw line for two. But straight up though, man, we playing wonderful, man. We playing wonderful right now. Mm-mm. 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 No more of any threes, including Mike Sports vibes. All right, y'all, let's see what we're going to do, man. We, we can finish this game. Let's finish this game. Like, stop playing. Stop playing. Philadelphia 76ers can definitely win this game. They definitely will win this game. We're going to speak it into existence. Everybody that's in the building, if you haven't already, man, hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button. It's definitely going down. Just in the Vikings are moving to Delaware out your local sports radio. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Tax free. Tax free. Whew. All right, y'all. This is the crucial time of the game, y'all. Can we win? Can we win this game, y'all? Crucial. This is crucial right here, y'all. 108 to 88, six minutes and 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Full timeout by the Philadelphia 76ers. They are balling. They are balling. They are balling. We can we're gonna win this game, man. Wow. This is a good win. I'm I'm gonna have to do a pre-recorded video about this. This is a good game right here, man. I'm I'm impressed with this team right now i'm gonna keep it real to go in la it's not over yet we still got six minutes but to go in la and do what they're doing right like i feel like we're gonna win but like this was impressive man L, uh, the clippers been hot lately you know what i mean so we're gonna see what happens um they're for their record is 44 and 25 so they're 44 and 25 So they're pretty, yeah, all right. All right, y'all. Stretch run. What are we going to do, y'all? Stretch run. What are we going to do? Are we going to win this game or not? Final score predictions. Can I get a final score prediction in the chat? Final score prediction, man. Final score prediction.
Hey, yo. You know, you know, you gotta, you just gotta make sure everything is good, man. When that alarm go off, I'll be like, oh, I'll be like, I can check the window real quick, make sure everything's good with that. Harden is somewhere. Yeah, he hooping. He hooping. I just don't. I, I just don't think. Like, I think the Clippers is a solid team. They just don't got enough to get out the West. I don't see it. I don't see it. Like, like this is a game they should be winning, man. For real, for real. For real, for real, they should be winning this game. But, I don't know. All right, let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. Six minutes and 14 seconds left in the fourth. Gives it to Paul Reed. Paul Reed's looking around. Ooh, all right. Paul Reed gives it to Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey almost... Oh, shoot some midi. Fade away. Rebound by Plumley. Six minutes in the fourth. And the Sixers. Oh, that's a foul on Plumley on uh Paul Reed. So 108-89. Five minutes and 58 seconds left in the fourth. Let's go. We got to keep scoring, though. This ain't over. Let's make sure we get this dub. We is not playing no games. We're not playing no games. We have to win. We have to win, bruh. We have to win, bruh. Let's go. Let's go, bruh. Let's go, bruh. Norman Powell with the ball. Gets a screen by Plumley. Gives the Plumley. Plumley's driving to the lane. Oh, in the lane. Paint. Puts it up. Gets fouled by Paul Reed. I ain't liking that, though. I ain't going to lie. I ain't liking that. What are LA Slippers fans? Fracks. He said here, peace, Mike. All right, Skoda, be easy, bro, bro. Thanks for uh tune, being tuned in into the live, bro. Appreciate it. 108 to 90, five minutes and 48 seconds left in the fourth. And Pumley makes both his free throws. It's 108 to 91. Come on, six. We got to keep on scoring. Let's go. Don't give him no hope. Cameron Payne with the ball. Let's go. Good screen by Paul Reed. Puts up a floater and makes it. I, I like Cameron Payne, y'all. I, I really like Cameron Payne. I feel like Cameron Payne is just bringing it, man. Simply, he's just bringing it, man. Let's go. Norman Powell with the ball. Drive it to the lane. Missed the layup, but he is going to the free throw line for two with five minutes and 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Why are we still at the five-minute mark? I'm trying to get past the five minutes so we can win this dang on game. I, I, I don't want to take no chances. 110 to 91. Norman Powell at the free throw line for two. Makes, his, makes the first free throw. All right, 110 to 92, y'all. 110 to 92. He shoots it and he gets it in. 110, 93. Five minutes and 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Tyrese Maxey gets it to Tobias Harris. Tobias gives it to Cameron Payne. Cameron Payne's looking around. Oh, step back three. And he makes it. Put the threes in the chat. Big game was in the club. Let's go, baby. I, I like Cameron Payne. Let me look up Cameron Payne's numbers real quick. Shout out to everybody that's in the building vibing with your boy. You already know the vibes, bro. Let's go. All right, let's go. Tobias Harris with the ball. All right, Payne, Payne has 20 points, y'all. Let's go. Tobias Harris driving on Plumley, Misses it. Rebound by Plumley. Let's go. Norman Powell with the ball. Come on, law. Defense, defense. KJ Martin's on him. Gets a screen by Plumley. Shoots a three. Norman Powell. He makes it. All right, 99 to 113. All right, y'all. Come on, this game ain't over. Let's go. 14-point game. Let's get it. 
Let's get it, man. It's not over. It's not over. Let's go. Ball out. Let's finish strong. Let's finish strong. We're not letting this. No, we're going to get this dub, bro. We're going to get this dub, bro. Let's go. Ooh, missed the shot. Come on, y'all. We got to play good defense right here. Whew. This is this has got me a little nervous. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, come on. Good defense. Come on. Amir with the ball. Spins on. Shoots it on over top of Tobias. Then Plumlee gets the offensive rebound. Come on. But it's a turnover by the dang on Clippers. We got to get a rebound. But luckily, they turned the ball over. Three minutes and 57 seconds left in the fourth quarter, y'all. Three minutes and 57 seconds left in the third quarter. Can the Philadelphia 76ers, can we, can we get the dub? Can we get the dub? All right, let's go. Let's go. Tyrese Maxey with the ball. What you want to do with it, bro? Going between his legs. Seven on the track. Six, five. Oh, Karen Payne shoots another three. Misses it short off the rim. Let's go. Boston, uh, Boston got the rebound. He shoots the midi. Misses it. Rebound by Cameron Payne. Oh, man. Cameron Payne is all over the place, bro. Gives it to Tyrese Maxey. Let's freaking go, Sixers, man. Timeout by the Philadelphia 76ers. Let's win this dub. Let's get this dub. Yo, Cameron Payne, right? I was telling my boy AJ, right, earlier. I just said, like, yo, he just needs more minutes, bro. Like, he really do. He really do. All right, so Cameron Payne has 23 points, three assists, and four rebounds. He's tied with Tyrese Maxey as the leading scorer. Tyrese Maxey has 23 points, six assists, and one rebound. Tobias Harris has 22 points, three assists, and four rebounds. Buddy Hill has nine points, two assists, and four rebounds. Mo Bamba has five points, one assist, and seven rebounds. So, y'all. All right, let me see something. Let me go to. All right, let's see what happens, y'all. Shout out to everybody's vibing. We are at the crucial time in the Philadelphia 76er game. And we're at a crucial time in the Philadelphia 76er just in general season. And I need Super Saiyan power to finish this game, y'all. I need Super Saiyan and Virg I need Goku and Vegeta power to finish this game. Let's finish this game strong. Let's freaking go. Oh, gosh, Vegeta just fell. Tyrese Maxey gives it to Tobias. Tobias driving to the lane with a floater. Makes it look easy. Tobias Harris is the leading scorer with 24 points. 115 to 99. Three minutes left in the fourth quarter. Three minutes left in the fourth quarter. 115 to 99. Let's freaking go. Oh, that was nasty. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. All right, let's go. 115, 101. Two minutes and 37 seconds gives it to Paul Reed. Paul Reed driving to the lane. Gets his own. He got blocked, but then he got the ball back. He gives it to Cameron Payne. Cameron Payne driving. Bounce pass to Tobias, but he turned the ball over. All right, 115 to 101, y'all. Two minutes and 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Let's go, Sixers, man. Up by 14. There's no way we should lose this game. We got to win this game. Xavier Moon in the game. Yeah, we won this game. They put their bench players in. It's over. We got this game. Xavier Moon goes off the backboard, gets it in, 115 to 103. But do not play games. We got to still win. Come on. I don't care. It's the bench players. Let's go. Let's go, Paul Reed with the ball. Gives it to Ricky Council for three. And he makes it. Put the threes in the chat, baby. Put the threes in the chat. Put the threes in the chat. Let's freaking go, bro. Boston with the ball. He gives it up. Three by Xavier Moon. Let's go. 
Let's go. Tyrese Maxey wasting some of that time off that shot clock. 118 to 103. Let's freaking go. Nine on shot clock. Eight, seven. Floater getting to the free throw, free throw line for two. 118 to 103, y'all. 118 to 103. The Philadelphia 76ers are fighting. They're beating the Clippers. Not literally fighting. I'm just saying they are fighting. They're playing. They're doing their thing, man. We could win this game, become the seventh seed. Let's go. Yep. So the Miami Heat is 38 and 32. We are 38 and 32. And the Indiana Pacers are 40 and 31. 40 and 31. So we can get there. All right. 119 to 103. Let's go. Terry Moon gives it to Plumley. Plumley gives it to Murr. Floater makes it. All right. So it's 105 to 119, y'all. 117 left in the fourth quarter. The Philadelphia 76ers will get the win. Congratulations to the Philadelphia 76ers for balling out. It's definitely, definitely going down. So another timeout. Right. With all the Sixer fans in the stands. Let's freaking go, baby. Yeah. James Harden, I know you still want to be on the Sixers. I know you do. Then again, no, he'd rather be in L.A. <laughs> But yeah, this is a good game. It was a this was a solid good win for the mighty Philadelphia 76ers. I am super, super ecstatic of on what they accomplished in this particular game to keep it real. Cause I ain't gonna lie. I can't I said, man, they ain't gonna got I don't know if they could win this game. James Harden gonna probably give us 30 points. He's gonna probably put a 30 piece nugget on us. Nope. Nope. All right. Fifth, iPhone 15. Dang, how many iPhones they got? Cameron Payne, 23 points. 8 of 15 from the field. 5 of 10 from 3. Tyrese Massey, 24 points. 9 of 17 from the field. 6 assists. Tobias Harris, 24 points. 11 of 19 from the field. And 4 rebounds. Good job. Cameron Payne with the ball. One minute left, y'all. He gives it to KJ Martin. KJ Martin slams it with one hand. Let's go, Sixers, baby. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go, bro. 121 to 105. Let's go. Boston with a midi midi. Makes it. Good job, Philadelphia 76ers, for getting the dub. The Philadelphia 76ers, they, they balled out. I, I can't even lie. All right, y'all. 121. Let's go. 14 on the shot clock. Emerge as a bounce pass. Turn the ball over. All right, it's over. 10.3 left in the fourth. Oh, they got Bull Wilson. They just got him Wilson. What a good game, y'all. What a great game. Final score, 121 to 107. I'm probably going to do a pre-recorded video tomorrow. I'm going to go to the babies. So let me see something real quick. Let me just do a... A little post game real quick. Let me just see what see everything real quick. So let me go to team stats first. And I want to go to rebounding first. So we tied with rebounding 37 to 37. We got 12 offensive rebounds. They got 10 offensive rebounds. So that's I guess good. Uh, whatever. Let me. All right. So assist, we had 31. They had 26. When it comes to blocks. When it comes to block shots, we had 11 blocks, y'all. 11 blocks to nine 
blocks for the Clippers. Steals. We had seven steals to two steals for the Clippers. Wow, good job. Um, three point percentage, we shot 48.6 from three, 18 of 37. Field goal percentage in general was is 53.3. We were hot, man. We did our thing. Now let's get to the players. I want to give a big shout out to Tyrese Maxey, 24 points and six assists, one rebound. Tobias Harris, what a great game that he had as well. Tobias Harris had 24 points. Three assists and four rebounds. Now, Kelly Oubre Jr. played 25 minutes, left the game like he was hurt. When he came back, he had 12 points, six assists, and two rebounds. Paul Reed had uh, 10 points, eight rebounds, three assists. And Cameron Payne, <sighs> off the bench, 23 points, three assists. And five rebounds. What a terrific game by the Philadelphia 76ers. I'm so happy that we got this dub. I will have a video come out about this game. But, um, yeah. Yeah, Cameron Payne did so well. Like, that was a good pickup. Like, people sleeping on that pickup. I love Pat Beverly. I'm one of the, few, I'm one of the people that like Pat Beverly as, as well. But who do you think is better? Right now in their career, who's better? I mean, could be a debate. I think Cameron Payne's a little bit better. It's just my opinion. But good game, y'all. Thank you, everybody that's been vibing with me, that's been rocking with me. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Have a wonderful Sunday, rest of your day. Be safe during the week. And um, what's the next game? Let me just see the next game real quick, and I'll be on there. I'm going to be on there. All right, so the next game, so now we're back to the seventh seed with the dub. Unless the Heat play today and they win, but. Oh, snap. Yeah, we got a game tomorrow, 10 o'clock. I'm, I'm, that's a late game. I'm not sure. I might be to do it. I'm not 100%, y'all. I'm going to keep it real. You know what I mean? I might be to do it. We'll see. All right. So we got the Kings and we got the Clippers. That's at home. James Harden coming back to Philly. That's going to be an interesting situation. Cleveland and Raptors. All right. I mean, yep. All right. All right, y'all. Have a wonderful day. Peace.